check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. everybody it is november 8th 2022 and this is the chad smith podcast but i am by myself this morning i thought chad was going to be here with me but uh he might still be sleeping he needs to get his beauty sleep guys i told him we would come on this morning and talk some rc cars i've been sick and hurt the last week and i just basically want to come on tell all you guys thank you for all the good wishes and get better soons and I'm better guys. I'm starting to feel much better. So what do you guys want to talk about? What's up, Lynn? What's up, Campbell? What are you guys doing? Jake, good morning, brother. I guess I'm up here by myself today. My co-hosts must be sleeping in. Spooky and Chad said, fuck, Sonny, we ain't doing this. <laughs> That's all right. I like looking at myself. I can stare at myself on here all morning. Let me get some coffee ready. Let me get some smoke ready. We might talk some RC cars. Oh, Chad is hooked on RC cars, guys, and I like it. And that way it ain't just me. <laughs> One of these days they get him a wall of shame like that and have thousands of dollars up on his wall. But for now he's got one. And he bought one, but he bought a good one. When Chad goes out and buys something, he does not mess around, guys. He went out and bought the most expensive fucking RC crawler you could buy, I do believe. And I'm kind of jealous. It's a lot nicer than mine. I'm going to have to buy a new one just to keep up with him. Keep up with him from Michigan. <sighs> We're going to have to find a way to put cameras on our cars and drive them live so it's like we're playing with fucking the cars with each other at the same place not across fucking united states <laughs> he and chad live so far away from each other we ain't never gonna get to play with these rc cars It'd take forever before i make it to michigan and he ain't never gonna make it to california because he don't fly <laughs> he's just scared of flying so i don't blame him it's not the flying i'm scared of it's the crashing that's the part i don't like so, guys, what do you think of, uh, also, I know it's not RC related, but I heard it this morning and kind of made me laugh. John Lennon's killer was up for parole. He killed John Lennon in 1980. He got 20 years to life. He got up for parole, I guess, this year. So it took him a few years, more than, I guess, I guess he missed his parole the first 20. I don't know how that works, but he went up for parole, got it denied. He said that he killed John Lennon for the fame. That he uh, he couldn't, how did he put it? He he wanted the fame so bad that that he he thought it was okay to take a man's life it was was that was his excuse. That's that that's what he said at his parole hearing. <laughs> like I I know it was wrong, but I wanted to be be famous so bad that I killed John Lennon, and now the guy wants to be paroled, which I don't think is a very good idea for him for his own sake. Uh, a lot of people love the Beatles. You know how crazy people get over music and famous people. I don't see that man living a long time if they release him from prison. I, I think someone will, will shoot him or do away with him because of what he did. John Lennon was a well-loved person <laughs> for him to do what he did. And for you, those of you who don't know, I'm pretty sure everyone knows, he snuck into John Lennon's backyard I do believe, and killed John Lennon while he was trying to swim in his pool. As I think that's the way I heard of that story. Can you imagine swimming laps in your pool and then coming up to take a breath of air and just some asshole standing there with a gun? Just horrible, man. Just to be famous. Just so people will know your name. Who gives a shit if people knows your name? <laughs> yep, that just don't make no sense to me, guys. So... I don't think I'm going to have a co-host today, guys. It's just going to be me. 
So what do you guys want to talk about? You want to take some questions from chat? You guys got any RC car questions? I bet you don't. Who else is on here? Melissa Nicole. What's up? Gurley and Lynn and Akashi Chris and Jeanette and Jake. Hey, I'm doing pretty good by myself. I got 14 people in here. Hey, even, my, even Papa Willie's here. What's up, Papa Willie? What's going on, cuz? So, guys, like I said, any questions, you put them in chat and I'll answer them. Kind of like Confucius says. What's up, sex man? What in the hell is going on around here? <laughs> That's a nice hairdo you got going on. You like that? You fucking faux hawk. That's what it looks like when I realize my channel's live. <laughs> I have to get out of bed. That's okay. Uh, go back to bed. I got it. What did you say? I said, that's okay. Go back to bed. I got it. I don't need you or Spooky. You've fuck actually been you. doing a very good job. <laughs> I actually like this. I'm like, welcome to uh, welcome to Tuesday morning filibuster. My name's Sonny Conway. <laughs> that's right. And I'm Chad Smith. <clears throat> Switching roles today. Oh, yeah. We can switch roles today. Here, let me show you something that I got going on right here. <coughs> my uh, oh, my tires. Good. You can't see my trailer. Mm -hmm. to move some stuff. Yeah. My, my tires were getting smashed, Chad, from sitting on the. Remember how we were talking about the stands? Oh yeah, you gotta it's put the them the on stands. Yes, the stand. The stand's gonna save your tires, man. These tires are weather cracked pretty bad already. Welcome to our season coffee. I ordered some jack stands, Chad. Little tiny. Did you? Yeah, to hold my trailer up so I don't smash my tires. I thought I broke my front bumper last night and I smashed it into the. You mm -hmm. broke it? You no, broke I it. Thought I, I thought I broke this right here, but it, he's good. Yeah, you can't break that. That's some strong stuff. Man, that is a badass car, Chad. What's so special about Chad's cars, which you guys aren't seeing? He's not showing you. Oh, where'd you get that? <laughs> yeah, dude, 7,200. I'm like, damn. Uh, my friend, uh, my mom's uh, ex-boyfriend had this. He's the that one that one, let me borrow it. That battery that you have coming, Chad, yeah. the one you said you didn't want? Yeah. Wait until you try it in there because it gives that truck a lot more power than what it has now. Uh -huh. It's the battery that's for that truck. Uh -huh. I know it's it's expensive and it it but Traxxas does make some good ass batteries when <laughs> when you get that one. And that's coming today. Well, you'll see. Just run oh it. If you don't God, like it, sit back. Out. What's up? What's going on, Spooky? Good morning, brother. Man, we gotta work on our communication. <laughs> What happened? I missed it. You're telling me. <laughs> You're telling me, Spooky. What happened? I, was, I missed it. I, I was just you. about to go outside and meditate in the rain. <laughs> I was about to lay down and keep sleeping. <laughs> Dude, Chad, people are talking about your audio, man. All right, let me let me throw these headphones on and see if it helps. Oh, oh I, I'm hearing him fine. Guys, what are you guys hearing? I don't hear no. Hey, maybe it's me. They want to hear that silky smooth buttery sound of the Chad Smith podcast. Oh. <laughs> he said, Well, this is what happens when I see my channels live. <laughs> he didn't even get ready, Spooky. <laughs> I told him three minutes before I went live, I'm going live right now, you fucker. <laughs> What's the topic? Nothing. Oh, we just, RC I'm just hanging out. Coffee. And drinking coffee and saying hi to everybody, telling them thank you. Everybody in here was telling me, I hope you get better soon and hope you feel better. I got a whole bunch of messages from everybody, and I just want to tell them thank you. I'm feeling way better today. Yesterday was my last antibiotic pill, and I'm starting to feel good. Awesome, man. Dad, you need to spit, Jim says. What's that I mean? need to what? Jim says I need to spit. What's that mean? <laughs> Thanks, Jeanette. Good morning, everybody in the chat. You probably can't hear me, huh? 
I can hear you. He can oh. hear you. Well, I guess I got to fire up the studio because you got me in here now. What? <laughs> You guys don't got to be just, here. I, I was going to just do like an hour or so, or we can all <laughs> hang out. You guys, we can hang out and talk. I'll see you guys later. No, you, 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 you <laughs> I was being nice, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh Let's talk God. about Chad and Big Willie's big show on Sunday. Oh, how cool was that, man? It Dude. was like they fucking got ready for that for a week or two weeks. It, that was. What, you guys have like an hour to prep for that, Chad? Two hours. This is fucking good, dude. I liked it. I was well entertained. I was honestly going to go on there until I started <laughs> watching. And then I was like, fuck this. I'm having fun watching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, two hours. I was just like, uh, uh, Willie, mm. I'm bored. I want to do something. What are, you, what are you up? What are you up to? And he's like, nothing. So oh, I said, uh, let's put a show together. Let's get something together. Love you guys too, Chris. All right, let's see here. Turn some lights on. Man, this is bad. Look, I'm, I'm, we don't lost two. We only lost two viewers. I think it's oh my Chad. gosh. What about the uh, crime time? Uh, that was. That was crazy. Uh, oh, the prime time night. for Cassie's show last night with, with Chris time, and, time. and Bobby. That Man. was a good one. That was emotional. I know, huh? Cass was uh asking Bobby how do they how do they get that guy? Like uh what could they do to to stop him from but she was fired up about it. <laughs> I think she said how do we get this motherfucker? Or something like that. I started laughing. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've been over there, uh, downtown LA, and you know, been by the Cecil Hotel, and there was nothing about the feelings I had when I was there that made me want to get anywhere near it. Really? It, was, it gave you it bad was feelings. Like, it was just like you want to be away from that place. Well, Is it you because you already knew Spooky? Yeah. Or just really, well, really because it gives you them feelings. You think. Whatever the whatever the reason, it was a negative vibe for sure. Yeah, I was just like, get me true. away from there. The good thing about it is, though, right around the corner is a sick taco oh. shop. And you're <laughs> saying hi. What's up, taco up, shop? Amy? What's up, Amy? What's up, Amy? How's it going? Alien girl, one, one, one. Yeah, what I really thought was interesting about that is Bobby was like, "Does anybody know about the past?" Um, of this hotel, like how many how many people have committed suicide, or how many of these murders have happened, and then Cassie comes back with like so many, and they were all like 35, 1936, 1937, 1938, 1939, and then it kind of just like stopped. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. It's a weird weird hotel. Aww, weird place. Amy, we love you. Yeah, we love and you too. And we missed your show this morning. <laughs> Thanks Anytime for doing I get up and there's no alien girl show waiting. Oh, very sad. Sonny, I didn't realize that you were live on Chop Shop too. That's what I was typing in the chat on the uh, on the chat oh, podcast. I probably I'm like, am I the only one in here? Yeah, I, I went on Chop Shop. I threw your Twitch up there. I didn't know what to put on. <laughs> we're live on Cassie's channel. Well, we're this live go on. Into our shit I'll just show throw them on everything. <laughs> yeah, they don't have to stay. This is going to the shit show archives. <laughs> I wanted to say good morning to everybody. This will really. be the most successful episode that we've ever no. done. <laughs> Ain't that the way it works? <laughs> you know, if, if we did come on here and talk RC cars and busted them out and just did the whole show, for mm -hmm. some reason, those those shows get so many views, Chad. You are. Yeah, I, yeah. Oh, I know. It's crazy to watch. Especially when you're doing like the, the show on stuff. your RC car because it's the new one. It's new. and People want to see it. They want to buy it. They want to know how those servos are working that lock your your uh, your front end and rear end in and out. Oh, really? Yeah, a lot of people don't know or realize that comes on there because Traxxas makes a cheaper version of your truck. It doesn't come with that two-speed transmission and oh. it's, the, it's the sport one, that little pickup. Uh, it looks like a little 
Oh, or really? Or something. Yeah. They make a cheaper we're banned version. From twi- we're back on Twitch, one. but I'm banned from Twitch, right? <laughs> Just because we're never going to let you back on there. <laughs> you're actually live on Twitch right now, Spooky. Let's yeah. just make sure oh, that back, we don't play spooky. any. Guess show them your boobs, Spooky. Back again. <laughs> show your boobs. I'm not going to talk anything about the vote. Anything about politics because I hate talking about politics. So yeah, who just, cares? Just Screw vote. Politics, the only man. thing I have to say about that situation is people died to give you the right to vote. I'm done. Yeah. That's and guys, true. I don't vote, so you guys go out there and vote for me. I'm done. <laughs> That's it. No more. No more politics. And, nope. and when do you vote, Spooky? Before we do stop talking about it, really, I don't know when we vote. When you're supposed you better to have vote. it done by eight o'clock tonight. Really? You vote today? Mm hmm. Today's you guys day. go out there and vote. Yep. Spooky just trying to live. That's right, Jake. <laughs> <coughs> I had a teacher uh, who's our typing teacher in school, guys. And he was a drill sergeant in the army for like 30 years. His name was Mr. Gibson. He was so fucking mean. Uh, well, he loved us. He really <laughs> loved us. But he was very mean to us as far as his uh, teaching skills. Like, uh, if you look at your keyboard... Well, you're supposed to look at him, and then he'll just say letters, and you have to type them without. He don't care if it's wrong. He just don't want you to look at the keyboard. So I would look at my keyboard, and he would take a paper bag and put it on my head, and I had to leave it there the whole class, dude. And sometimes you can't see anything, and he'll just walk by and smack you. Whack! Like, hits your arm. (laughs) (laughs) I told you not to look at Yeah. So that man, he's the one that told us about voting. He said he would go vote every year. He always votes. And... He's, it's mostly for. I'm gonna try to. I don't know. I'm gonna get this wrong. I think. I think it was Mickey Mouse. It's one of the Mickey Mouse or Goofy. It was a Disney character, and that's what he put on his ballot every time he voted because you just had to write it out back in the day. So if it, he didn't have anyone he liked to vote for, he still voted. He just voted for somebody that wasn't even on the ballot. He would go. He voted every every time. Just. Just. Sometimes for nobody. He, he just wanted his right. It was his right to vote is what he told me. It's my us. right. So I'm going to use it. That's right. That's Yeah, man. I mean, it's just for the simple fact, you know, for me that people uh, give their lives for the right. Uh, the yeah, only man, reason I don't, guys, as you guys know, I don't do politics at all. I don't know who or what I'm voting for. And I'm not going to vote for the wrong person because I'm misinformed. Right. I'm not informed to, enough to be voting for, yeah. I just usually go by whatever Kanye says. I do the opposite. <laughs> oh, my God. Kanye. I'd vote. Whatever oh, Kanye says. Oh, this is what I, did. I did this last night, Spooky. Break your truck. <laughs> oh, you weren't going to show this to us this morning? <laughs> I'm not going to do this anymore, Sonny, because I know I was going to break this damn thing, but I was like, I think I can get some slow motion. Well, when you put that new battery in it today, you might be able to break that rear end. (laughs) No, you won't. It's got a brushed motor. You'll be okay. Hey, that reminds me of that lowrider RC car that Sonny had. (laughs) Oh, dude, those are so cool, man. That was sick when you were making it hop. I know. I want one of those. I was a customer, though. I was working on that for a customer. And Dude, I saw a dude on Instagram. Was he makes those models? And he was selling those Impalas, little toy cars for two thousand. Oh fuck yeah, easy. That one behind me is almost worth two grand. Whoa, <laughs> Spooky is like what? Two grand? Yeah, it's insane. You see that little red one hanging right there, Spooky? Mm-hmm. They don't make those no more. That's got two brushless motors in it. It's little tiny motors. Oh yeah. Um, that little thing is like 600 bucks. If you go find one on eBay, if you could find one that nice, like that brand new, 600 bucks. They're right around 600 bucks. They were a hundred bucks. Oh, oh, look at that RC porn. <laughs> they make me laugh. I don't know why they make me laugh. They're funny. I know. Listen to Chad, guys, when he's driving it. You cannot drive these without giggling. <laughs> it's just... Watch. you drive it and film it at the same time? <laughs> you gotta have a yeah. <laughs> I think Jake's actually driving it this time. Oh, that's why you don't know what he's doing. Yeah, 
let's take in the video. Oh, oh man. Oh. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, Rodney Toski's in the chat room. Oh, Lord. and hey, he ordered his he ordered his uh, his his sound his his vehicle engine sound. She's gonna be system. making noises. It's gonna be so cool. Because <laughs> Chad, you can get on there and program it. Remember, take your. I left mine on the original one, just because the original one comes with an old V8 sound. I love this. Yeah, one. yeah, the one that you've got sounds super real. I'm gonna have to find one for the Bronco. <laughs> Papa Willie, are you Big Willie? Alien girl, no. we got a couple Big Willies in here. He might have <laughs> a Big Willie, but that's not the Big Willie, Amy. That's my cousin. And thank you for asking. And we're down <laughs> again. That's Billy. That's uh that's Chop Shop Security, the guy that's always in here with me. Yep. That's who that is, Amy. Oh man. Are we breaking the bad news to everybody this morning that there is no more smut stuff? Yeah, <laughs> There's no more trouble. smut stuff. We got trouble. That was uh that was a fun run. We gotta find another platform to stream to because we And keep we didn't even do trouble. anything wrong. It was some girl set her ass on fire with rubbing alcohol, and, and they, <laughs> we can't show that. You can oh, say man. it, but you can't show it. <laughs> um. Hey, Rod. Rodney's in here, too. What's up, Chad, Posky? don't open my Facebook message until after the show. Unfortunately, I just, bought, I just opened up <laughs> Posky. Jay said he needs smut. I need smut in my life. I need smut in my life. Oh. Yeah, we hey, need to champ. find a new platform. Champ says 100% it was the name that targeted you, Smut Stuff. Yeah, Ooh. probably. It was yeah. a good name, dude. Yeah, smut Cast. Like we should have stuck with Smut Cast. I knew you should have had me part of the creative meeting on that one. You guys came <laughs> up with that on your own. That smut was Chad, stuff. actually, I think. I think that, that might have been Jamie. Okay, let's just what pass you doing in our creative meetings. We'll pass it to Jamie. I know. Jamie, stay the hell out of there. I'm messing stuff up. <laughs> oh, she'll be in here this morning. She's going to be like, what's going on here? There was no show announcement. Uh, that good old yeah, smile. I mean, we yeah. should meet over there on Twitch sometime, all of us. Have some fun on a different platform. Yeah. I like hanging out with Amy. I won't, I won't go. I won't bring any smut. She she never invites me, just you guys. Oh. He's calling you out, Amy. I am. I don't think I've ever been on Amy's show. I told her one time, Amy, you want me to come on the show? She was like, no, nah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> she no, didn't say not. that. She didn't say that. I can't see I'm her saying that. Amy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm good, uh, man. I think I'll just cancel that episode. Thanks, though. Thanks for the <laughs> offer. I think we're busy the rest of the year. <laughs> Uh-oh. We're getting into a tip for time. Sonny, we invited you on the show, but you were busy. Oh. That's right. I don't right. think I was here. I, yeah, I think I was actually out of town. Oh, I see. Busy. I missed it. Now you got something to do, Sonny. Now you got to come on. Oh, I know. Huh? I'm gonna you get just on got there. an invite. You're going to be on Alien Girl 111. <laughs> so, how early is Amy's show on? What, what times it come on our time, Spooky? Oh man, it's early. Her show is, comes on our like four o'clock our time. Still, yeah. yeah, that's what it was before. Yeah, yeah. I have to get up at like three thirty, but I don't care. I'll get up that early and go hang out with Amy. Oh, there's just as long as these guys ain't invited. I don't want these guys to be there. For me. I'm sleeping in tomorrow. I don't know what's going on tomorrow, but I'm sleeping in. This is a. Uh... <laughs> I gotta go downstairs and swap my laundry out. Oh no! So, uh, are we actually talking RC cars, or what are we talking on here? I'd love to hear you <laughs> what, guys talk about it. What do you want to know? Well, Ooh. I guess we could go. Uh... I like hmm. that. I don't know. Well, I'm down. We should talk about upgrades. Some upgrades. We can do upgrades. All right. Here. Whoa. I'll big screen myself and open this one up. 
Yeah, let me share this real quick because I just saw this while I was flipping through Facebook. It says, it looks like someone left the door to heaven open. They really should be more careful up there considering heating costs up there. <laughs> this up the, uh, I can't talk. Considering heating costs up are up this winter due to gas prices. Actually, this was a view of just one of the beams from this morning's dramatic sunrise. That's pretty sweet. Oh, wow. That was the full <coughs> view. Oh, man, that's a beautiful picture. Utah. That is awesome. It seems like ever since we changed the times on the clocks that the sunsets are even more beautiful and wild. Yeah, that's awesome looking. We had a good one here a few nights ago. The whole sky was red. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's, last night, uh, my daughter question, called right? my yeah. wife and told her, tell dad to get outside that there's a bunch of lights in the sky. So she's all she's west, like four miles from here where she lives now. They just moved out a couple weeks ago, a week and a half ago. So I go outside and I'm looking both ways. I can't see shit. I'm not seeing anything. She sent a video and I want to say it's a meteor or shooting star or whatever, but it just don't look like it to me. I'm going to have to get the video so you guys can see it. I'll, uh, hmm. I'll get it from my wife or my daughter. She sent it to my wife. Some people have been really talking about seeing some other uh who's i just listening to jimmy and church then, was saying he saw something in the sky too hmm. Bunch of then, lights in the um, sky. a meteor right landed in some guy's farm field yeah <laughs> and you know meteors are worth a lot of money thousands of dollars you know if right you, okay so these people decided to go and this just happened this was uh yesterday or the day before um they were gonna. They went into his field and stole his meteor. They seen it hit. They went and took it, and they took pieces of it, put it in their freezer because it was an ice meteor. And then oh, it came back today that they had a big old frozen hunk of shit that they stole from the farmer. It was just like the Joe Dirt meteor. Oh, they, really? They all had shit in their freezer, and that's what they get for stealing from that guy. They didn't find a meteor. They had a shit meteor. Uh, yeah, another meteor. That's pretty funny. Uh, this happened either last night. I, I think it was last night because it rem when my daughter sent the video and I was seeing the little meteor or whatever shooting across the sky. The guy also had his house set on fire. He says the meteor landed on his roof and they have camera footage that I haven't seen yet from the uh, uh, a house across the street, like their doorbell cam. And mm -hmm. it just they say it shows a big ball of fire. Going down to his roof and hitting his house. Boom! Set his house on fire. Jeez. It's like, wow. That is crazy. So, yeah, meteors have been falling the last few days, guys. To the earth. <laughs> well, that's probably not good. They're not burning out. They're, hitting, they're actually hitting. So, they're getting bigger. Mm-hmm. Which means they started out a lot bigger. Because they probably did break apart quite a bit. And then the final piece that was no. left hit. Are all those meteors just alien RCs? Hmm. That's what. That's actually a theory that uh, that they're just drones or like people or like well, uh, they, other I've, countries. Have you guys heard it? Not the countries. Yeah. The I'm planet. not woke up, dude. See, this is what happens. I don't have any caffeine. Have, like, <gasps> have you heard the theory that too. that's how that's how like uh, they get the aliens have they're gonna send like a a disease or a sickness or they mm -hmm. shoot a meteor into the earth and that's when it hits that's what spreads it like chemical warfare type stuff i've heard yeah. that before but i don't believe that i don't believe that till i see an alien <laughs> i just uh i just sent a picture <laughs> of a buck that we have at work that walks around to my buddy and he said Man, what I would do to shoot him. And I said, wow, you don't hear that every day. <laughs> Man, what I would do to shoot that guy. <laughs> like, oh. Hey, uh, Sonny. Yes, sir. Do you recognize these headlights? That's Jamie's high beam. <laughs> Jamie's high beams. Uh, 
Yes, I do. That is a TRX6 hauler. Ooh. And it has a two-speed transmission, and it locks in and out all six. Yeah, I learned that last yeah. night. He was like, you can lock all six if you want. I'm like, what? All six. All six axles. We'll lock up positive traction. Right, flip of a switch, guys. Look at that. It's got wheel chocks that are adjustable. Oh, and then, man. Yeah, when you get one of these remotes and you switch from the stock stuff. Yeah. Like when I turn this on right now, it'll say uh, it should be on my crawler. It say Sunny's crawler or something or axial. Yeah, it says welcome to Noble. It talks to you. This thing talks. Jeez. Angel Wings, I really should. I wish I had some coffee. I don't have any coffee in the house. Wait, what's Sonny showing me? I was just seeing if you can see the screen, but it's pretty blurry. That's pretty nuts. That's the screen on the controller? Yeah, there it is. It's it's, it's, it's getting clearer. It's trying. Man. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, see it says axial crawler there at the top? Yep. If it says uh, Sonny's Dragster, that's, that's the black car. The black gto up there yeah yeah you just select what you want you put your receiver it comes with two different receivers but you can buy extra ones so there's one in there there's one in the gray car <laughs> oh my gray. God. yeah she uh, and then, wants me to get that to tow, tow chad's well, ford home <laughs> see you see the little buttons on the these are paddle shifters what yeah you can use that to work your winch your winch can go in and out. Oh my god. Yeah, you don't have to. And then, like, um, this button here for Traxxas's, uh, oh. Traxxas does their drag trucks, you know? You you hold this button in, and you pull the trigger, and it doesn't do anything. When you let go of the trigger, and let go of this button, it takes off. That's your drag button. Man. Mine's set up different. Mine's set up to where, when the light turns green, I squeeze this all the way. Yeah. But it, you can set how much power you want to go and how fast you want it to add the power. It's like programming a real car. <laughs> when I get to like 80%, when I get to about a third of the, the drag strip with the car, Chad, and I push this button, yeah. instead of mine being a, a brake lock button, a line lock, mine's a boost button, and it gives the car 120% boost. It's like nitrous. It's like a little nitrous button <laughs> on your RC car. It, it flips mine over when I hit the little boost button. It'll flip it over backwards. It'll That's flip it over stated. backwards while it's going 60 miles an hour, and I hit the boost button. It, then it flips it over backwards. <laughs> That's a lot yeah, of work. It is. They tell you this tells you how fast they go. It tells you what you ran in the quarter mile and the eighth mile. It takes all your times down. It helps you set it to where you make a faster pass. The controllers are crazy. Hey, what's oh, up? Oh, that was it. That's the stuff Chad's truck's got on it, guys. That's a two speed oh, yeah. transmission. Yep, yeah, I yeah. torque. This is all the same stuff that's in yours. Oh, because it's, it's the TRX4, but it's the same it's thing. Just a six. Yep. I can't believe it don't come with that little motor cover no more. Where's that? Did it, what did it show it? It showed the motor, but there's no cover. Yeah, there's no cover. That's how yours should have came with a cover. I think that's that's that cheaper one that don't come with the the hydraulic. I mean, your lock in and out, rear end and front end. I do have this uh, remote though, the TQI. There's a TQ and a TQI. If you have the I, then you can buy a wireless module to go on the back of it, and it tells you like the angle of a the angle yeah. that the car's on and all kinds of stuff. That's why I use. I just get one expensive one. But I have yeah. a lot of cars, so true. Shutting yeah. down. Shutting down. <laughs> Dude, they I watched a video last night where the guy put a TRX six on top of that truck. It can haul itself. Oh really? Yeah, that's how big that, that thing is. That, that long? Is. That thing's fucking big. <clears throat> All right, let me can you guys let me see here. You guys see the truck back there? Can yeah. you see it, huh? Yeah. Can't really see. You can't see all the wires and stuff in there though, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, I can see all those wires, yeah. Yeah, those wires are to the blinkers, guys. It's got headlights in there. You turn it. Little blinkers come on. There, my yeah. bumper. 
The blinkers is a cool option. It is. But this is the coolest right here. This is what Chad just got. All right. Pretty sure it, you guys will hear it. It's pretty loud. To start it, all you got to do is touch the receiver. Yeah! Beast! Jeez, that thing is awesome. I can't. I'm getting that soon. Bum 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 bum. How do you shut it off? Uh, it'll time itself out after you start it. If you don't touch the remote now, yeah, it'll shut itself off after a few seconds. It'll stall out. It'll load uh -huh. up. Man, I'm not joking. I have to go downstairs and swap laundry out, so I'll be right back. Okay. Get but uh, if you guys want to put some music on, I don't have this. All the stuff over here that I have on the board is we've heard it a million times. He's a great guy. Uh, He's a great guy. <laughs> that Sonny Conway, man. That Sonny Conway. He's a great guy. That's right. He is George Sakai. <laughs> <laughs> He's a great guy over here. He's a great guy. He is. He really is. I am. I am a good guy. I build all these things for my grandkids, guys. That one's my grandsons. This one's my granddaughter. <laughs> great, man. All right, man. And they love hey, their RC yeah. cars. Next time we have a show with RC cars, we should have Carl vibe show. Uh, Carl the Crusher come on with us. That dude knows oh, RC. That'd be cool, man. He's got mm -hmm. some cool stuff. He's got stuff with cameras on it. <laughs> right? Yeah. Hey, my little my little snake took off. Spooky, did you see a video of her? Uh, you showed it to you showed us you showed her to yeah. us the other night. She finally got I guess it got warm enough here for her to leave. But do you have any video of of the snakes so that you could show the uh, chat, or you already, or you don't have any recorded? Probably. You guys want to see the snake? Heck yeah! Let's see. Hold on, I'll I'll share it real quick. I gotta go find it. Give me, just give me like thirty seconds here, guys. Oh, no problem, Sonny. Um, I think I sent it to Cass. I'll, I'll get it from her. Oh, yeah, there's one. See this because I'm probably going to get bit right now. He's. Okay. All right. Can you guys see that? It's all good. Yeah, we can see it. I don't know what happens if I. Is that better or worse? Uh, full screen is oh, good. All okay. Either way. All right. Here you go, guys. If you guys, guys want to see this, because I'm probably going to get bit right now. He's leaving. I don't know what to do with it. Hey, buddy. He's, this is the oh, back man. of my computer oh, desk. This is where. I can't, I can't see, see you get down there. And those are all my wires and stuff. Come my charger there. wires Come and on. my headphones. Come on. And look what's in there. Don't bite me. Come on. It's me. Come on. Come on, Whoa. man. Oh, you little shithead. Come on. I got your house. You can't stay there. You're going to get cold, buddy. Come on. Yeah, they'll die Come when on. they're babies like that Come if you leave them in the cold out here. Come on. That's a girl, on, dude. Come on. I found out there she was a girl. Go. Come on. Come on. I got you. Come on. Hold on now. <laughs> See, guys, I'm going. nice to everything, oh, really. Look at that. Come on. I like when somebody Shit. asked you if that was a rattlesnake. Come on, get in, man. <laughs> yeah. No, that's there not. There you go. They look like rattlesnakes. Oh, man. Got your own little house. Got you a blanket in there. You live in a hog heaven, buddy. 
Man, you guys are nice to everything. He mean old snakes. Yeah, you see, guys, you don't got to kill everything. You don't got to kill all the snakes you see. A lot of them are, they're good to have. Yeah, the problem is, is a lot of people can't tell the, you know, the different types of snakes, so they just immediately go for self-defense, right? Yep. A good way to tell is it's the shape of their head. You don't even have to look for the rattles, guys. When it comes to the snakes here in California, that's how you tell the difference between a gopher snake and a rattlesnake, Mm -hmm. because a lot of times those snakes are curled up and you don't get to see a rattle. Um, You don't, you really can't tell here you know it might be a rattlesnake if you're in the mountains or something and they're not rattling and and so there's no way to tell except for their head uh rattlesnake's head is shaped like a triangle uh it's because they have venom in the sides so their heads are different and then a regular snake's head is just it's just a circle perfect it's like your thumb instead of being a triangle you know shape head I I have a picture of her. I'll show you guys. She was uh she was really cold when I found her spooky. So she just wanted to be held like after she got tamed a little. She wanted to be held like that, but you can see the shape of her head right there. I'm trying to get my face out of there. Yeah, you can see the shape of her head how it's not how it doesn't have that diamond shape. It's just nice and smooth. Yeah, that's that's one way to tell if they're venomous. And here we shouldn't have venomous ones, so it should be no big deal, but but we do. Oh, this this picture to me was funny. My daughter, she was telling me, Dad, it's so cute. It's so cute, you know, because it was wrapped around me getting warm. So I pointed it at her and look how scared she is. She she was going, Dad, no, Dad, no, Dad, no. <laughs> oh, Spooky, you're muted, buddy. <coughs> Sorry about that. You right. Man, that sometimes people uh, get really panicked about snakes. I know we've had rattlesnakes in our yard before. Yep. In the grass. Oh, I would have killed it. I would have killed that if it was a rattlesnake. Well, in the Can't summertime, they come and want to get in your cool grass because it's so hot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's how you accidentally get bit. Right. You step I mean, on it, and they bite you. If you and nowadays, people barely watch them where they walk. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, they're on their phones the whole time. <laughs> I'm watching this timer right now, Sonny, because I got that coffee maker thing that you got me on the stove right now. Remember, if you get it too hot, it's gonna blow the perv valves out. Oh, she's on high right now because I need oh, coffee. Oh, no, you got to do it on low. Low? That's... Yeah. That hey, thing takes up? forever if I put it on low. GNA? He's using a percolator, guys. He's got no patience. Forever is like eight minutes. Is what I got that damn thing on full blast. <laughs> Hot as it'll go. Let's go. But he's using a pressurized espresso maker. He's not using a coffee percolator. It, it's all steam. It could explode. <laughs> yeah, you might hear, you might hear a, a bang here in a minute. Yes, if it explodes, this is gonna shoot up into your neighbor's <laughs> floor, bro. Hopefully that valve works. It does. It just <laughs> it blows right out. Oh, this is beyond Bim. Or this is uh, Bim Jim. What's up, Bim Jim? I saw What's Bim going? Jim the other day in the chat. I was hoping that we could uh, talk to Jim Bim Bim Jim sometime. Yeah, it's going to be meth coffee, oh. Jake. It's going to be like super strong. That was two minutes? Yeah. Very big. It seems like you just said it two minutes ago, huh? <laughs> so what's going on, Bim Jim? You know you're always welcome here, buddy. You could always be on the show. Mm-hmm. Oh, what was her name? Spooky. Oh, Marianne. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't. I feel bad. I know I that name. That that that's freaky. I like Jeanette, that last name. Freaky geek. Jake Smith. I don't know. There's so many people in here. I'm. I'm I glad know. I. I'm glad we came on here this morning. We're missing all you guys, man. 
We need to do a poll and ask uh, the, the chat if we should do shows even when we don't have a guest. Well, I think, yeah. But what do you guys think in chat? Do you guys like seeing us up here just bullshitting and talking to you guys and interacting? And I mean, it's probably not good to go back and watch unless you're watching it live. It might not be good, but I don't know, man. I kind of like going in and if, if Joe and Ben don't have a guest, I love going in there and watching what these guys put together by themselves and just what they have to talk about. And, but they're also a lot better than I am. So <laughs> if you guys don't like this, you let us know and we'll sleep in. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, we all got our strengths and, you know, people love to hear what you got to say. We find out what you're doing in your life and, um, yep. You know, people that live on the East Coast probably, ha you know, they're not familiar with what's happening in all different parts of the West Coast, like California is a big state. So we do things different in San Diego, L.A. than Sonny and, they, and the people in Fresno do. Mm -hmm. There's people that live up uh, in the Bay Area. They do things different. It's just we're like our own yep. country over here, really. Yeah, it's, we got our own cultures from town to town sometimes, different stuff but one thing california does have where that you know spooky i always talk about it it's the mexican food dude our food here we get the best food <laughs> living in yeah, california it's oh kinda hard to, man kind of kind of hard to hear people talk about taco bell yeah or <laughs> i think melissa one time i want to say it was melissa or somebody I think it was Melissa. I'm going to say Melissa. She was making tacos, you know, hamburger meat. And I told her, have you ever made a sod of tacos? And she was like, what's that? Oh. And I told her, next time, go get a flank steak and cut it up real thin and just fry that meat. And that's an asada of taco. And she was like, it's, that sounds good. I was like, oh, it's fucking bomb. And instead of using lettuce, you use cabbage. You use <laughs> cut up cabbage. And yeah, some lemon and salsa and cabbage and basically all you need you gotta have cilantro though you gotta throw some cilantro in there but yeah I, I think that was melissa and i was i was really shocked like even if you haven't heard of an asada taco because you're not from here or whatever from mexico or how did you not ever think of cutting up a flank steak or, or a chuck steak or any steak into chunks and eating it in a taco but yeah it's just i don't know like I said, Spooky, we got it made here for food, dude. Oh, yeah. Well, when I hear people talk about going to Taco Bell for tacos and, 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 and the different, you know, it seems like people talk about Taco Tuesday. I mean, every day is Taco Day where I live. Yeah. We just take the tortilla, grab whatever we made, and that's a taco. That's, that's mm -hmm. a taco to us. Yeah. So I eat, I eat tacos pretty much every day. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I, that's how I am. <laughs> I use tortillas for everything too. Mm -hmm. I eat burritos, tacos. The trick is finding the, either make them yourself or find the best place to get the best tortillas. Yep. Then it really makes it. Oh, yeah. There's there's a spot here in Fowler where the lady makes homemade tortillas every day for her restaurant. Oh, I'm sure. It's so good, bro. Some of the best Mexican the best. food I ever had in California was in the country of California, like the uh, mm -hmm. where where families have settled generations ago, and then they they just keep making the best Mexican food. Nope. When I was a kid, my dad used to take us to this place here in Easton. It's called the Easton Market. It's a little teeny tiny store. The guy used to have uh, all all his food and everything in the store. He had like a meat market in there, right? In the back when I was a kid. You could go there and just buy the big old fucking already roasted hunk of pork spooky to make your pulled pork mm -hmm. taco, your verde. It's, yeah, it, it was already done. It was already cooked and seasoned perfect, man. It was so good. Smoke? So, uh, I don't know how I did it. I know it's cooked for ever. <laughs> it takes like 15 hours so he, he does a bunch of them but I guess they didn't want him cooking out of there after 
I'd say about this happened about five years ago. They said that he couldn't cook out of there no more. It was too many rules. They basically just trying to shut his little store down. And it's been there since I was a kid. No one gets sick going there. He's he's not a dirty person, you know. You might go into this little store, it might be dusty shelves and shit, but his food and everything, it's all clean back there. It's in, like a meat market. So they Dude, shut him down the... and he took a truck, Spooky, you know, the taco trucks? Mm -hmm. And he parked it right outside the store. So now he makes all that stuff and then just puts it in the taco truck and sells it out of there. He found a loophole, a way uh, to get around it. I love loopholes. But, best food spooky that is the best food dude like you would never think it's this little tiny store but like you said little country places it's where you find the good stuff i took a video while i was making my coffee did you percolator yeah, yeah. i mean the it's espresso maker show yeah it's uploading right now all right it's taking forever because we're on here I had to hear a little bit of that Lee G when you talked about play some music. So if everybody likes this song that we're playing, make sure you check out First Floor Audio on YouTube. Oh, you know, yeah. What's weird is I just uh, friend requested Lee last night. Somehow we weren't friends on Facebook. Keeping it on in the truck? All right, cool, champ. Thanks, man. What'd you say we're not on Facebook? No, Lee must not have been on Facebook because I just friend requested him last night. It, it popped up. And I was like, how the hell are me and Lee not friends if he's on Facebook? Huh. So I think he didn't have one before, maybe. Ned, I try not to talk about my home cooked meals because I don't want to brag. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, but you do take pictures of them and then we're all like, oh, man. I don't really want to be uh, making people feel a little bit jealous there. But yeah, it's amazing. <sighs> I'm not like 500 pounds. <laughs> yeah, I think I probably would be if I was oh. living there eating a bunch Dude, of food. I gained like eight pounds since I've been taking those steroids. I can't quit eating. I just stay hungry, dude. Really? Good. Yeah, I eat like ten times a day now. Oh, From once hungry. to ten times a day. That's well, you're medicine. a grown boy, so I like it. <laughs> I'm bulking up for the winter. That's how he that's how he does it, Jake. That's the secret. That's how he fuels himself to clean all them pipes. Man, this video is taking forever to upload. What is going on here, Google? Uh, your screen's kind of blurry, too, so you don't have all that great of a signal right now. Ah, jeez. All right, I guess that's the end of the show. See you later. Yeah, that's it. Out. Yeah. Chad's fucking everything up. Let's just Thanks, go. everybody, for being here. We'll see you next Bye. time. Take care. All right. <laughs> it started out good when it was, when it was just me. <laughs> What are you saying? <laughs> this started out fine. And then you guys showed up. <laughs> and then Chad showed up with the faux hawk, fucked it all up. <laughs> Spooky showed up and saved the show, but then he took himself out right now. He got insulted. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you got some explaining to do. Uh, we got to have some fun. That would Chad be funny. came on here and was like, no, no, no. You don't do my show without me. You get off of here. <laughs> I was like, are you serious calling me out when I'm laying in bed? Uh, <sighs> damn I've never seen your fucking camera go blurry like this, Chad. Like, your internet is slow. It's showing me that it's slow. I think it's because it's still up. It's trying to upload this video. It's so strange. Do you get like a billion megabytes per second? Normally. Hmm. Let me see what it's at. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're at... Uh... Wow, it is I've going really seen, slow. I seen where where uh, you live, Spooky. Oh yeah. And yeah, like near the golf course. Talking about those rattlesnakes, I was just thinking about that. Because I was thinking here, I live in the country. It's no big deal to find snakes, but they got to make it through a city before they can get to all that grass. Well, over here in San Diego, place. we got a lot of um, canyons, especially yeah. in the neighborhoods, because they built these neighborhoods. That's true. You know, right alongside oh. these canyons. The sinkhole, it got bigger, Chad, and it, it's not oh, yeah. fell in yet, and it's yeah, right it's next so to spooky. Deanna's car. Oh, no. Yeah, Spooky, uh, Sonny's losing real estate over here. And I can't back in to get my fifth wheel right now, Spooky, because the sinkhole is right in front of the trailer where I got to back in. I'm terrified my truck's going to fall through. I know the trailer's going to fall through if I can't get it moved. Wow. <laughs> I've never seen a sinkhole before, but... 
I have one now. Yeah, you you started out your video like, well, never done with deal, dealt with one of these before. I can't. I, I, need I stood caffeine. over by the front of the trailer okay. where I got a backup to to hook up that, and I started jumping up and down, and the ground was going. Hoo, hoo. I was like, what the fuck? That's not good. So I got off. I got off of there quick. My daughter was like, Dad, don't do that. The whole ground's shaking. <laughs> yeah, champ, I did. We got crazy wind around here on Saturday. It was insane. Uh, Jeanette Sanchez, true spooky, mostly up in North Country, though, not so much down here where I'm at, just the trails. Yeah, she, What's that, uh, Brown she's Dwarf? more in the city. Man, I don't know why this video hasn't uploaded yet. All I did was take some... It was only a minute and ten seconds. My internet really must be screwed up. But it did just get a shipping notification from UPS that my order from A-Main Sports and Hobbies will be here today. Oh, shit. That's your charger and battery? Yeah. Because you can definitely re return that stuff to them. That's why I get stuff from A-Main Hobbies. <laughs> if you don't like it, yeah, I thought you uh, got it from Amazon for some reason. I don't know why. I probably sent you the cheapest one. And it was from A Main. Well, I want to buy the uh, that charger that you showed me, the blue one. The cheap one, like I use. Is it cheap? You can't charge the battery you're getting with that charger. That's oh, why really? I said, yeah, some some batteries you can't even plug into your <laughs> your car that have that plug in. Um, You'll see when, when it gets there, the, uh, you know, uh, when you plug in the, the sink, the little, the little plug on the side, you have to plug into the charger to sink the battery when you're charging it. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Those don't, the battery you're getting has it, but it's built in to the uh, wires already. So you just plug that in and uh, okay. I wasn't for sure if you knew all that stuff and you said nope. you like you were a brand whore that's what you told me so i thought you wanted all traxxas that's why i sent you the best charger traxxas has and the best battery they had paired up jake's got 150 dollars plug wires coming what the hell is that for for the truck the square body cut them yourself plug wires that's a good ones that's it wait they're cut them yourself plug wires oh uh, maybe uh, a lot of people I don't do think that because so. you can get them thicker that way. And then, yeah, you just cut them to fit and then screw the ends on them. It's if easy. I had to guess, Jake bought the ones that are ready to rock and roll. Hey, Jake, if you want to help that truck out, go get some. Uh, hey, Spooky, uh, can you go down Echo with the volume? Three spark plugs. Echo 3s. Perfect. You're Echo in there, threes? Jake, right? Have you ever heard of Echo 3s, Jake? Echo 3. Uh, instead of having the, the armature on the bottom that it sparks to, it's shaped like a diamond and it hits like all four corners. And that's what I run in all my vehicles. All, even my little car, the Honda CRV runs those. It ups the horsepower of your vehicle and you get way better gas mileage. Burns cleaner, runs better, idles smoother. This is like a commercial. Yep. I don't tell people all these tricks because those are my secrets. <laughs> That's how I make my shit faster. <laughs> you did tell me about the oil. Yeah, don't tell people and, about that. And then I never <laughs> ended up doing that. <laughs> they can figure out their own oil mixtures. I'm joking. I use... Make it slip and slide. We only have 14 yeah. people. It's only 14 uh Yeah, but there'll be secrets. billions of people watching after you tell them you're giving out the secret. That's true. Lucas Oil, guys. I use Lucas Racing Oil. Mm -hmm. not oil additive i use synthetic lucas racing oil and this stuff called uh duralube no is that right yeah oh my yeah, god this coffee is insane that's my secret for oil and when you check your oil at six thousand miles and i have a big block truck the biggest motor you could get in a pickup at 6,000 miles, I can check the oil in that truck, Chad, run that mm -hmm. combination of oil, and it's still clean. I still change it at around 7, even though it's clean. As soon as it turns dark, I change it. I don't let it get black. I I should probably do that. I'd let mine get too dark. Oh, no, don't do that. 
My truck is like, Don't ruin it. can I have an oil change now? I wait till about 10,000 miles. No, you better be running oil like I do if you're doing that. Whatever they put in there, I don't know. You know that, that purple oil? The, what is it? Something purple? Something, I don't know. That shit's no good at all. Oh, oh. that thing's so cool. Uh-oh. Still lagging. Come on, internet. What in the world? Serious? It shouldn't lag if it's uploaded. Whoa. This wow. is weird. Maybe it's because it shot it in 4K. I probably downgrade that when I'm just <laughs> taking yep. bullshit videos. That's why it took so long to upload. <laughs> it ain't never going to make it past that part. That's weird, man. Just let it go. It'll, it'll Here, go I know now. what I'll do. I'll download it onto the computer and then... Oh, I thought that's what you did. No, I uploaded it to the cloud. Now I'm trying to play it from the cloud. Yeah, see, working. now you got to get it from the cloud. I hate that. I just download the shit to the computer and then take it off. <clears throat> yeah, my download speeds are much, much, much faster than my uploads, so I'll just download it real quick and then... It says 20 seconds. Yeah, guys, that little percolator, it... It makes it better than the electric express. It, sure does. <laughs> it just tastes better. It's it's steam forced through there from fire. <laughs> fire. Yes, well, right. this time I clogged it. I think because Brown I, Dwarf. What's up, had... buddy? <laughs> yeah, I'm rocking my Ben Davis, homie. A little Ben Davis stuff. Hey, here you it's go. Just, Deanna's got a badass work coat that she wears a Ben Davis work jacket to work. It's fucking mm. so cool, man. Oh, man. I'm just failing in all categories here. If you... Okay, that's not going to work. We'll just play it this way. Oh, it's working now. Yeah. I got it on low. I lowered it down a little bit because it was getting a little fiery. <laughs> Yeah, if you get it too hot, it'll taste burnt, too. You don't want that. She's just bubbling out of there now. Bubbling out of there. It's getting ready. I think we're push. getting to the end of the road. It's getting a little bit more crazy. It gets real crazy Ooh, at the end. Yeah, look at that. Bubbling yeah, that's coffee. Oh, that's where the yeah, broth comes from. Oh, this that's camera is pretty good, good, huh? Look at that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's getting a little rambunctious. <laughs> it's getting rambunctious. Uh, I can't believe you drink two yeah, of them, man, bro. I like made a that. lot of a mess over here. It's but... got to be the coffee. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I'm going to send you, like you the coffee, coffee dark. Dad. This is the way to drink it right here, son. It's like syrup. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah. It's like eight cups of coffee. Toddy Or wow. six or something like that. Oh, it's a badass mug. <laughs> Toddy Wobba, baby. We need more RC stuff. This is called RCs and Coffee. For anybody that doesn't follow me on Facebook, I uploaded a couple pictures. Mine's still, uh, mine's still on. I didn't even shut it off. I mean, they just look so real. Here, look. Let's get it turned. Let's Spooky, it. what would you... If you won oh, like $1,000 from Traxxas today, what would you buy from Traxxas? Like, have you looked at any of their cars? No, I haven't looked at theirs. I just know that I am obsessed with those lowrider uh, remote cars. Sorry. God, dang. That <laughs> thing is loud. Good. He's going to wake Jesus. up the family. Let me see what Traxxas makes for lowriders. I wonder if they make anything that's ultra realistic. Oh, what? Andy Gambino's here? I love how she picks random names. Andy Gambino is backstage. <laughs> Jamie's pulling up all the stickers. You're muted, Sonny. I was supposed to be muted. I was cussing. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Packer face. Is she done? Yeah, she's done. She's, she's done. She's gone. 
I haven't uh, seen anything, Jamie. Uh, is there a cryptid corner tonight? <laughs> I'm going to kick her out. Two seconds. And then she gets right back in chat. Whoa, what was that? What did you guys do? What happened? Plug your show, girl. <laughs> yeah, plug your show, Jamie. Are you at work? She must be Please. at work. Yeah, what's going on today? She got a show today? BCC. Oh, man. BBC? I did not BBC. say BBC. I said BCC. Thank you very much. Mm. Don't try to don't try to lure me into smut stuff. <laughs> well, BCC uh, is big cock catcher. <laughs> big cock catcher. <laughs> what? Who fucking this is a video from that? Rodney Posky, <laughs> and I can't Ooh. tell off the bat if this is RC or if that's real. It looks. I look like an RC truck to me, but Might that be. street's pretty small back there. Oh. I Oh, that's a real truck. Is he really gonna jump this road? That thing. <laughs> <laughs> that was now funny. It, it did look like an RC think? car rolling like that, what though. Made him think that that was gonna be a good idea. Oh, I see. Slamming on the brakes. Yeah, you can yeah. do that. Uh, uh. You never. <laughs> yeah, but that landing. We landy. live in the dunes. Was... We're from the dunes. We know you don't do that. You gotta let him roll down. That landing was great, though. I mean, it. I mean, oh, look no, how strong that truck is, too. It just oh, no. rolled over on its hood and just uh -huh. didn't even crunch it. <laughs> yeah, that's got a fucking five hundred pound top on there. That's a that's a blazer, and those fiberglass tops are heavy. I dropped one on Deanna's hand. Jeez, I Poor broke Deanna. her hand, dude. I feel so bad. Oh, I did. A, her hand broke. We were taking the top off of our blazer, setting it on some. Uh, wood saw horses to hold it yeah and i dropped my side on there and her side she couldn't hold it and it just smashed her hand i dropped it on her hand it's bad that was a long time ago you guys this mug is still available over at uh that one time i was abducted by aliens.com that over mug's so cool section. it's the best mug that i've got i think this one in my carl the crusher mug this guy hey spooky says we need Carl the Crusher on here next time we do our RCs and coffee. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I'd like to know what yeah, I like he's Carl, got. Dude. He's, he's a cool-ass cat. I like hanging out with him. Mm -hmm. Smoke weed? If I did that, I'm going to be way less motivated than I already am. And He can't smoke weed. He's my motivation level's real low right now. Oh, it's 12-11? Holy crap. Yuppers. I got to get ready for work. It's nine one one here. You go get ready for work. I'm gonna keep doing the show. Okay. Man, I'm gonna talk about you when you leave. Spooky, wanna hang yeah. out for a minute or you gotta go too? Said, what time is it? Spooky's it's like, already oh, I, nine, about, I gotta I leave this shit show. <laughs> I'll keep listening yeah, to we you. Better guys. Cut out. We did an hour. Well, I'll listen to you while I'm getting ready for work. You okay. gotta talk about I'll RC keep... cars. What am I gonna say? I don't know. Uh all I right. I wanted to see I'll people talking. Don't forget to turn your batteries off. I forgot to shut the batteries off on the trip. What about unplugging them? Do I really have to unplug them when I'm done using them? Yes. All right. Yes. It said that in the instructions, and I'm like, really? If you run Every a time? lipo battery dead, Chad, they'll uh, they'll explode. If you run them too dead, they'll catch on fire. You're supposed to have them in a oh. battery bag. I have one sitting around here somewhere. Here, I'll show you. <sighs> supposed Got to one your too in this. They have little oh. little holes on the side here. You can actually charge your batteries through here and not have to take them out of here because they will explode. That's, oh, I need one of those. <laughs> They're not very much. It's it's a lipo a battery. A lipo guard. guard. Yeah. Because they really will explode? They really will. If they get low, they'll, well, they'll catch on fire. They don't boom. They don't do that. They just and then it shoots a little jet flame out, but then it keeps doing it for oh, every cell. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, and if so, like, if it did that right here, it could catch my whole fucking wall on fire. How do the, I mean, these are what kids play with, and kids are just playing with yeah. LiPo batteries? Yep. That's crazy. Yeah, LiPo batteries are no joke. <laughs> they're not like, they're not like Nikehead batteries. Dude, I remembered yesterday that when I had my Traxxas Stampede, I was charging it on my mom's, on my, uh, on the carpeting in the living room, and... Yeah. 
I don't know if it was the wires got too hot or the battery, but something got too hot and it melted the carpeting. Yes, yeah, the battery. Um, when you charge those batteries, they get hot. When you charge the lipo batteries, they're hot when you take them off out of the car. When you yeah. run them dead real fast, they get that's how they can explode. They'll actually catch your car on fire while you're driving it. That's why you have that little red indicator light and you set it for lipo on your speed control. When it gets mm -hmm. to a certain voltage, your car will slow down and it starts flashing and telling you, Chad, to uh, shut it off. Don't run it until it don't drive no more. It will catch on fire one of these days. Oh, okay. Don't do that. I don't want to do that. No. When it starts slowing down, you quit using the lipos. It's not like the old ones where you got to run them all the way dead and then charge them up. Yeah. You don't run the lipo all the way dead. Yeah, it happened the other day. I'm like, I put it in, I had it in slow mode and I was crawling around and it was like not acting right. And then I put it in fast mode and it was crawling around. I'm like, oh, we're done. We're done using that one. Yep. And then, okay, so now that battery is hot. When you take it off, it's hot. If you oh. put it on the charger and start charging it, it gets cold. It'll cool down. Whoa. It's, it's different. Yeah, it's different. They want to be charged, not discharged. So don't set nothing on fire in your apartment. Make sure you unplug your truck before you go to work. All right. Yeah, I should just dangerous. take the truck to work. Honestly. I know. That's what you should do. And then you guys can deliver bolts back and forth. You need the trailer so you can <laughs> load bolts up on the trailer, boxes of bolts. I put a note on that trailer for every time I need to talk to my leader. I'll just write him a note and put it on the trailer and drive it to him. Kevin, my machine's yep. broke again. No more emails. Yep. All right, I got to go get in the shower. We'll see you guys. It's good. Good hanging out with you, buddy. Going to jerk off. All right. Go spank All right, it. All right. Don't get it stuck in the nozzle. Oh, should I hit end broadcast or leave studio? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay we got rid of him. The show's going to be good, guys. Yeah, Chad's Chad comes gone. in here telling us what kind of videos we can't play. I know, huh? It's all now a bunch of rules, man. Fuck. <laughs> ah. Yeah. We do what we want, huh, Spooky? Yeah, that's why He's I retired, not here, so huh? nobody could tell me what to do, man. I know, huh? Chad's mean to us. Fucking guy. <sighs> I hope he misses a stroke and hits his knuckles on the wall in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sonny, you like twerking? I do. Me too. Oh, yeah. Why that boy can't find his hope? Good lord. That falls in the good lord category. <laughs> so, yeah, some other stuff may not be anymore, but we can still do our twerk videos every now and then. Yeah, if you guys look real hard, there was an RC car driving around in the back of that video. <laughs> Next time we play it, you guys will see it. That's what we were showing. Just you guys are all perverts, and no one's seen the RC car. <laughs> oh my god, dude! You're supposed so to be next in time. a shower. <laughs> I'm not gonna show oh, there goes my channel. Anyways. I thought you were doing stuff, Chad. Get out of here. I mean, not all my videos are smut. Jeanette wanted some smut stuff. Everybody She's wants. Want to get her smut. dirty on. It's funny because everybody can go get smut on the internet, but there's something about doing it and looking at it with each other online. I know. Look at it with your friends and laughing. Laughing. Yeah, it's not perverted if you're watching with your buddies and laughing. It's <laughs> right. Well, it's still perverted, but <sighs> here's a baby you know bear. A baby bear catching snowflakes for the first time. Let me see this. Oh, man, that's too fucking cute. Let's just want to go out and hug him. Not everything I have is naughty. I know. I like bears catching snowflakes. Baby bears. The cubs. <sighs> I think I'm going to smoke some hash. I'm oh, feeling that good. Oh, my goodness. That is very tempting.
You got your dick cheese. I got my hash pipe. This is the one that Enzo was talking about the other day. This uh, mountain lion is being very shady in a residential neighborhood. Let me see. I don't trust them things. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, dude, that's you, so dangerous. You, Jesus look, Christ. But wait and watch and look what he does. Oh, yeah. yeah he's big yeah, that man. motherfucker. Imagine. Uh, he was actually hiding. Nope. He's going to eat him. <laughs> Depends on how So hungry lucky he you didn't get attacked right there. You can't fight that off. Oh, hell no. I bet, I bet we'd have seen how fast that lady could have ran. If he <laughs> 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 Oh, you can't get taken down for a twerk video, right? I don't no. I have a we better had... faith in our country. Maybe the song. That's what we Oh, got. the song. The song. We'll take that one out. It'll be fine. I do have more videos of people uh, with, with playing with fire, but I'm not going to play that. <laughs> no, no more fire videos. Man, there's some guy out here with a gas powered RC car driving it around right now. It's so loud. He he gets his cars and drives them down here by my house mm -hmm. because he wants to play RC cars with us and we won't let him play. <laughs> he stopped. <laughs> he stopped one day and said, Hey, I'm gonna he was driving by and me and Josh were we have a drag strip marked off and set up out front mm -hmm. on the street. So he stopped right there in the drag strip, and he goes, I'm going to get my cars and come back. I told him, okay, bring some money, <laughs> because we don't race for free. <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't come back. I felt bad. I was teasing him. What's this there, one, Spooky? There's a lot of um, fight videos. That seems to be like the big thing, right? Is either Karen videos or fight like videos it. where everybody's fighting. And I, I only I like the this... fight videos where, where guys are picking on somebody and then someone else whoops their ass for picking on a smaller guy. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty pretty picky about the fight videos I save, but Let's... this one I thought was interesting. It was Let's a different way of of ending a fight. I want to see. <gasps> <gasps> what the fuck? That's what I said. See, that's a new one for me. <laughs> that's excellent. I can imagine in the privacy of your own bedroom, but nope. in a parking lot? Hell no. There ain't no rules in a parking lot. Bite, bite him in the ass. <laughs> you can get a nut up there and bite his nut off. A <laughs> fight's a fight. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Ah, get us taken down. That's right. That dude tapped out. It looked like getting bit in the ass hurts. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even need a watchdog with friends like that. You just get him. <laughs> uh, well, I do have some smut. I can't play that. Yeah, I can't play that one. Damn. I hope it's okay to smoke. Yeah, I can smoke weed on here. All right. I think I'm going to have to get going too, man. Yeah, me too. I'm smoking my weed. I'm going to go relax. I got things I got to do. I, I don't, really. Just being lazy. <laughs> well, stay on, man. You can uh, give us some entertainment. All right, I'll stay on. I don't know what the hell I'm going to talk about. I don't got no music. What do you guys think? You guys ready to go? Go watch something else. Brown Dwarf, you want to come up here with me for a while? Oh, that'd be nice. How do I get Brown Dwarf a link? Hmm. Terry Brown's in here. Brown Jeanette. Dwarf. Jeanette, you want to come up? I don't think she's ever oh. came on live before. Jake's at work. Big Willie's at work. Can't get him on here. 
Uh, Akashi Chris. Chris, you could come up here with me if you're still in here and want to hang out. Let me see. I'll go invite somebody, Spooky. We'll see if anyone shows up. Yeah. If they do, we'll keep going. If you guys got a story you want to tell or something, let me know. I'm not on there right now, Spooky, so let me know if they put anything in chat. Okay. Uh, them boys are probably all busy. Willie's online, actually. Let's see if he pops in. I don't think... I mean, I don't know if Brown Dwarf wanted to come on. I'm just looking Brown Dwarf to see if we're friends on. I would like to hear Brown Dwarf's opinion on the uh, show last night. The oh, girl we was are talking about the Cecil Hotel. We're friends on Instagram. I'll put you an invite on in Instagram, Brown Dwarf, if you want to come say hi or hang out for a minute. Watch that be a different brown dwarf. <laughs> that better not be. He's got his picture and everything on there. How about Jeff Leeson? You think he would jump in here right now if I sent him an invite? The comedian? Oh, my goodness. That would be funny. Oh. Anybody else saying anything in chat that wants to come in? I'm sorry, guys. I was on a different screen. She didn't tell me if there's a brown, uh, Bobby's Cryptid Corner, but I'm assuming there is. I don't know why there wouldn't be. That was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> the hash is uh, strong stuff. Nice. But it makes my back quit hurting. That's for damn sure. I don't have to take no pain medicine that way. It's medicine, dude. Yep. From the I don't earth. have to smoke a bunch of weed either. I just smoke a little bit of that hash and then I don't want to smoke no more. Sonny, I'm going to let you go because I think you might okay, have man. a guest coming in. All right. Yeah, if anybody pops in, I'm going to bring them on up and talk for a Thank while. Thank you, everybody, for uh, being here and putting up with us today. That was really fun. <laughs> Thanks for coming and hanging out, Spooky. I thought I was going to be here all by myself. I thought Chad was going to sleep through it. And no way, brother. We didn't so tell anybody. If you if you get, if get uh, Brown Dwarf comes in or anybody else, uh, I'll still be in the chat. Say hi. But I okay. got to go uh, do some of my routine. Yeah, man. Get some meditation in. Right. All right, fellas. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. I'll see you later. You have a good day, Spooky. All right. You too, man. And so there was one. <laughs> now it's just me, guys. Now you got to look at my ugly mug. Good looking Spooky's gone. That car's driving by out here. Did you know how fast that car was going? This is a little country road. You're not supposed to drive that fast. So what are we going to talk about, guys? What do you guys want to hear? Oh, let's say bye, Spooky. Spooky will still be in chat, Lynn. He's there somewhere. I don't know if JoJo's awake. He's probably awake. You want me to bug him? Let's see what JoJo's doing. Let me get the bone in here. I would just drop the link in chat, guys, but we've had some bad experiences doing that. I can't do that no more. Okay. 
Jeff Leeson. I, there's no way I'm dropping that to Jeff Leeson. He's my lucky a guy would actually come on. That's a guy we want as a guest on the chop shop. And Jim Goodall's probably asleep. <laughs> he told me he's not a morning person. He's a night owl like me. Uh oh. Almost finished, guys. One second. All right, I dropped a couple links. The JoJo Brown Dwarf got one. Oh, that's Big Willie. I dropped one to Big Willie. Uh oh, Brown Dwarf. I I put you a link in uh, in your messenger. Uh. I don't know if I have your phone number, man. I can text you my phone number. Hold on. My ringer's off. I was getting messages. My bad. Oh, all these text messages are for me to vote today. I thought one was going to be from Brown Dwarf. <laughs> okay, Brown Dwarf, I'm going to uh, text you in your messenger. Because that's I don't have your phone number, buddy. I don't think I do. Let me double check. I think I do have it. I do. I'll text it to you. I got you, man. I just forgot I had your number. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I got to go in and get the link now. All right, Brown Dwarf, it's on your phone now in your text messages. Hey, what's going on, Bigfoot and Non? Hey, guys, got us another guest. Gonna welcome Brown Dwarf to the show, y'all. He's backstage waiting. You ready, Brown Dwarf? All right, man. What's up, what up, what up? Happy rising. How's it going? Too, man. Good morning. Um, it's going. It's going. I'm up and at him this morning. I've been I've been down in the dumps, feeling sick and hurting. Bummer. Ah, the, well, when it first starts raining here in California, I, my back's real bad. And dude, it gets it always gets me the, the first time it rains every year. Every, all winter, I hear the winter. Yeah, I'm I'm in SoCal right now. We just got some rain this morning. And uh yeah, you know how you could start feel that cold in your bones. Yep, that eight. And, yep. And it's weird. Down here it's like that that desert cold. Yeah. So, yeah, it gets cold. But, yeah, man, that cold is coming in. So you, you guys getting snow up in the mountains up that way already? No, no, I'm in Central. I'm in Central Cal, so we don't get no snow. I'm in the valley. Yeah, yeah, Fresno. but like towards oh, the Sierras, though? You I think mean, the Sierras? Give me two seconds. I'll look right now. Oh, uh, yep. <laughs> Sierra Nevada. Yeah, that's where actually there is some white caps out there. Yep. Usually it should be gone right now, but it's just giving it one last try, I guess. Yeah, my partner sent me some pictures the other day from uh, Southern Oregon. And, uh, yeah, there was snow up there at the house. So I was like, wow. Yeah, that's cool, man, for this mm -hmm. time of year. That's pretty early. So, hey, I didn't get to watch uh, last night's show. I missed the live. I was kind of busy. But um, I did watch some of it last night. And um, 
I got to the card readings, man, and it was it, it was intense, bro. I, I can't wait to watch the rest of it. Oh, for um, with uh, Chris Prime and time. Bobby, and yeah, yeah, that was a good one last night. <laughs> I don't want those girls good, man. Oh man, you should, you should get in on that with them and go on there one of these days and do a show. Oh cool, yeah, I'm I'm totally into the uh, all those like uh, you know crimes and stuff like that you know unfortunately yeah. it's, it's 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 dark but um it's interesting dude did you see i don't know if you saw the this um one uh article i posted on the tiktok of uh some girl up in the sierras that had gone um up with this guy and this guy was i guess uh a, a, i guess a big footer you could call him he was into mm -hmm. the topic supposedly was having contact with these things up in the sierras somewhere yeah. And he took this young girl with with him uh, and they went supposedly camping, they had said or something like that. But they they were actually going up to to check these beings out. And um, and they did have an, enc an encounter and she supposedly took off running after the the Sasquatch and never oh, came she, back. She chased him. She chased it. That's what the guy yeah. said, because the guy came back to town and and without her. And um, and I think they pinned the crime on him and whatnot. I didn't get too far into that, you know. I, well, I don't in this up. one article. Yeah, bro, and it's from the '80s, so yeah, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, that is crazy. Mm -hmm. I know. And you know, you guys, you guys have that Stacy Harris case, that the 411 case that they always talk about from the Sierras. It was a young girl that uh, went missing, and it kind of just, you know, made me think of that, dude. But uh, yeah. anyway. Do you know a lot of lakes and stuff around me, like Shaver Lake? Have you ever heard of that? No, I know, I know. Yeah, I know of like Avocado Lake and like I I know a Dink. Uh, what is it? Uh, Dinky Creek. Yeah, yeah, and, Dinky uh, Creek. Like yeah, yeah. Spots Dinky like Creek. that. I know. Dinky I've Creek is the spot I'm going to tell you about. It's just above Dinky Creek. It's Wishon. You know Wishon yeah, Lake yeah, right above Dinky Creek. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, for sure. I I hunt at Wishon. Okay, and like. Two or three years ago, I think it's been two years now. Two years ago or last year, maybe might have been last season. So it might just be one year. I can't remember now. Damn it. I get the seasons confused. But it was either one or two seasons ago. So either one or two years ago. I was up there hunting. A ranger. Okay. The year before that is when we had the fires. We had bad fires. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a ranger comes to my camp and it's kind of dark. It's getting late. And he tells me. Hey man, um, they found a guy and his wife and a baby and a dog yes. all dead in their camp. Mm -hmm. And and like I told them, well, what the fuck happened? They said, We don't know, dude. We think it's gas or something. Yeah. You know? So that happens. And and then the next morning I go hunting, I come back to the trailer, and I get back before dark and it's probably around four o'clock and the Rangers came back, but it's not the same Ranger. It's not my buddy this time. It's a different Ranger. And this little short Ranger guy tells me, um, you're going to have to have your trailer out by tomorrow night. It was either, no, it was either tomorrow or that night at midnight. Mm -hmm. um, or you're going to have this big fine. And I said, why, why do I have to leave this time before it was the forest fires? We should have got out of there, you know, cause we were going to get burned up. So this time they said, we don't have enough search and rescue on staff right now. Uh -huh. if, if anything is to happen up here, like if there was a fire, we wouldn't be able to come and rescue you. I said, so you're making us leave now because of what ifs? Like I go, dude, what if a bear attacked me? What if a mountain lion <laughs> ate me? I go, we still come hunting. There's a whole bunch of what ifs. I go, we spend a lot of money, you know? to wow to hunt and and you yeah, guys are yeah. making us leave every year we're not i was only up there for like three days so then i went home and i told my wife you know i think it had something to do with these people missing did it say anything on the news and she was like that's not on the news and i go what do you mean it's not on the news you know the people that died up there is not on the news because they just died like right on the other side of the mountain that i was <laughs> wow <laughs> so then, <laughs> then they said it was a gas leak is what they told me yeah there's no there's no volcanoes up there. There's no gas leaks over there. We yeah, well, I've hunted they, there forever. There's nothing okay. like that. 
from what I heard, it, they had mentioned there's like uh, some sort of uh, body of water, possibly like a pond or something nearby that the gases might have came, uh, may, may have come from. Yeah, but I don't know. Um, and then they also mentioned that I guess what was the final call? They had said like a dehydration or something like that. But then the guy, the guy supposedly had one of those backpacks with that have the water in it, the water yeah. bladder, and there was water Dude, in in the, the dog. The dog was dead next to him on the trail. Yeah, they yeah, were yeah, all yeah. next to each other dead. There was no hiding. Dogs don't. They don't yeah. die of thirst in the mountains. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And they said the dad, if I'm not mistaken, also they said they found him in like almost like a sitting position, like he was sitting down. Yeah. But, like standing yeah, up, yeah. you know. It, it, I don't know. It was weird, man. It, I felt bad. It was horrible because the baby was only like one. It was a little. Yeah. Baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were they were exper super experienced hikers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these um, were, they weren't just out there. These were people that are like me. They've gone up there all the time, but so yeah. strange that no, there was nothing wrong with them, and mm -hmm. they, and to this day, I still haven't heard of what happened to them. Like right. like you're saying, like they say that, but yeah, no, cool. it's no, no, no. That's and not, then um, what was the other thing is that the whoever showed up to I forgot what uh law enforcement showed up to the scene first um they spent the night with the bodies there you know and hmm. i guess you know nothing happened to them but yeah you know, that, that was and i don't know why they did that or why why that happened but well if you thought there was a gas leak would you stay the night somewhere just so the bodies wouldn't be moved and ate by animals right? that's all they were doing even right. if you had a mask on, I, I mean, you would have detectors with you. That's why I said that gas leak thing was just a. Mm. Yeah. Like, even the ranger that said it to me was like, "Yeah," he said they said it was a gas leak, and and I was like, "A gas mm -hmm. leak?" And he goes, "You know, like gas coming out of the mountain." And I was yeah. like, "No, <laughs> there's no gas like that what? up here." He goes, "I don't know either, man, but that's what they said." Yeah. Yeah, he he wasn't yeah, well, telling me, you know, like you got to leave. There's a gas leak. He he was even confused <laughs> mm -hmm. um yeah. uh, politis has this uh one it's it's this saying that he got from another detective uh detective gannon it's a uh, local report for local consumption so basically oh. it's just like reports that they give you right away just for the people to you know shut up and consume that and mm -hmm. case closed you know yeah because they don't talk about that here like yeah that's that's only an hour and a half That's from a trip, man. drive there and, and people yeah. they don't talk about it mm -hmm. and that dinky creek area has a lot of dude there's a lot of 411 cases out of there mm -hmm. um i don't know how far uh avocado avocado lake is from there but that's different where the... direction it's it, avocado lake is actually it's just a river okay it's it, it's uh the san joaquin river and mm -hmm. they actually have this little gate they can open and fill up this little pond it's not really a lake it's small mm -hmm. they call it avocado lake and you can go there and camp but you're camping along a river okay it, it's the opposite direction of dinky though so it's pretty far away well okay not the opposite but two different freeways i guess but is it the same county or oh uh, yeah yeah it's okay. still fresno fresno county right. and madera county yeah, well, they say Avocado Lake was having a lot of activity with these uh, this fam uh, possible family or clan of Sasquatch, mm -hmm. um, because people were finding uh, tracks and were seeing them, and it made the news. And I told you about this guy locally in your area, uh, Jeffrey Gonzalez. Is Jeffrey Gonzalez and um, Alan? I forget Alan's last name. But uh, they do a paranormal, it's Paranormal Central out of Fresno, yeah. bro. They're at a Sanger. Mm hmm You know? And, uh, I don't know. Yeah, so they, you know, they've been doing the thing for a long time. And uh, they got their following, bro. <coughs> big, big Fresno following and, and Central California following. And yeah. I've been following them for years. And, uh, yeah, they're cool guys. They get some good information out there. But um, yeah, I've heard a lot of these areas, bro. I'm I'm anxious to get back up there and uh, revisit Yosemite as well. Oh man, that's a good spot right there. Mm -hmm. You know, I I have a big, huge fifth wheel, brown dwarf. I, I, I've heard, bro. I've heard. I know you got you got some toys and and 
Yeah, you're one of the boys. Yeah, we, <laughs> can, uh, we can go have fun up there hunting Bigfoot, dude. We we can even go towards with Sean and mm-hmm. take the fifth wheel and take this. Boom, the side by side. Yeah, Jeez, and there's room bro. for four of us, so we can take people with us, and it, it would be a good, that would be a good trip, awesome. man. It would be yeah. so fun. Yeah, maybe bro, get those guys from Sanger to go with us, and okay. Yeah, 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 they got. I'm sure they got some spots, and they're they're pretty cool uh-huh. dudes. So, yeah. um, dude, and I'm totally open, bro. So l- let me know. Um, yeah, you let me know when you're down this way. Yeah, that, we'll I'm, I'm just working on uh, manifesting some gas money. Gas <laughs> man, Good. dude, it takes me like fifty bucks just to fill up the side by side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then that truck that I used to pull everything with, the, the mm-hmm. blue one, it's back. It's outside behind the side by side out there. Let's see if it'll focus. That big blue truck out there. Yeah. You were talking about your rig earlier. I, that's nice, bro. That, yeah, it's, yeah. I got, I got my little rig. I, I got, I got a little, t- uh, little taco, a little Tacoma. I, I love them things, man. Mm-hmm. They run forever. Yep. Yep. Those yeah. I'm going to need some, some more tips from you, dude. Thanks for sharing those tips earlier. Oh, for the if you if you run <laughs> Lucas, I even mm-hmm. use Lucas uh, transmission fluids. It's all put up, and I got cases of that stuff. Mm-hmm. It's expensive. I'm glad I bought. I accidentally bought an extra case a couple years ago. Nice. And I had to, I paid like I think it was like six ninety nine a quart because okay. it's transmission fluid and it's it's mm-hmm. synthetic race transmission fluid. Now that same thing is like twelve, fifteen dollars a quart. So I wow. have like a case and a half sitting down there. It's, it doubled in price just sitting. Wow. Yeah. yeah. No. There's this. Uh, my dad. My dad and his partner. She. You know him and her. Uh, they drive uh, big rigs and stuff. And uh, the other day they were looking for this particular oil that they use. And uh, we had gone to a few places that should should carry it, and dude, it was out everywhere, and it was just really hard to get. And he was really trying to stock up on it because he knew the the prices were changing, and it was just going to be one of those things. Uh, Dura Lube, Dura Lube is the stuff I use. Uh-huh. Uh huh. That's what I use in my oil, even though I'm using Lucas Racing Oil. Mm-hmm. There's this stuff called Duralube. It came out. It was one of those as seen on TV things. Uh-huh. <laughs> I had a T-Bird, a 91 T-Bird that was getting so hot, it was vapor locking. And it did mm-hmm. this like for two, three days in a row. Uh-huh. I couldn't figure out how to fix it. I didn't know what to do. Everything was okay. And there was no parts, no codes, no nothing. It was just getting, it was so hot here in Fresno at that time. My car was Ooh. vapor locking. So <laughs> it did it up on Herndon. I had to walk. I walked to Walmart and I seen the stuff and I was like, oh, that's the shit on TV. They would uh, put a few drops of oil on this bearing and then they had this bar. You pull this bar down real hard and you couldn't mm-hmm. stop the bearing from spinning with this oil on it. You couldn't stop <laughs> it from the bar. So that's usually a scam to me because they also put this oil in a motor on TV and they ran it and then they drained all the oil out and the motor kept running and it never burned up. It just kept <laughs> running with no oil. So that kind of stuff is a scam. So I see it, but I'm stuck. I don't know what else to do. And I bought this stuff, Duralu, walked back to the car, dumped it in there, started the car back up. Not only did it stay running, it never got hot again. It didn't just not get hot the rest of that day so I could drive home. That car never got up past. It was like maxed out, getting boiling hot. It never got up past a quarter, even with the AC on and everything. The car just <laughs> never overheated again. So I went and researched it and looked at it. So I'm a mechanic, you know, mechanic guy. I wanted to see why that worked. It's actually so good. It cuts the friction down in your motor. Mm-hmm. So less friction is less heat. That That's all it was, was my motor was old and getting wore out. So it had so much friction that it was overheating. It was, it couldn't wow. run in the summertime. Mm-hmm. And that ever since I used that that day, I've used it in every oil change and it's noticeable in your fuel mileage. Like if my truck gets 12 miles to the gallon, okay. but when I run my oil, I get 15, 16 miles to the gallon and that truck's got a 498 big block gas engine, not, not diesel. It's got an Allison transmission, but it's a big, 
Yeah. Nice. And then um, uh, that, yeah, that if you run that enough. stuff in your truck, though, try it out. You don't have to run the Lucas race oil like I do, but okay. run good synthetic oil, a good one. Mm -hmm. Don't don't buy cheap stuff. Don't get that royal purple. That's not good. It's expensive, mm -hmm. but not good. Um, you can get Lucas motor oil on Amazon. You can get that oil. I'm talking if you look up Lucas synthetic motor oil. Don't yeah, get that. Don't get the additives. This, this is the additive for your fuel injector. Mm -hmm. So if you put this in your truck, this will lubricate your valves. It'll lubricate the valves and it'll knock some of the dirt off of them. Um, cool. Do that too, man. If you do all this stuff, Brown Dwarf, I'm telling you because you said thanks for the tips. If mm -hmm. you do that and hit your mileage on your truck the next time you fill it up, Mm -hmm. You will be blown away. Even though you're driving a Toyota, you're going to get like another three or four miles to the gallon in that truck. Sweet, it, man. Yeah. It it, it really – and – Good to know. And it gives more power. Uh-huh. It, it's more power, too. And I also yeah, run I heard, the Echo 3 spark too, plugs. Cool. Yeah, the Echo 3 yeah, spark you know plugs. <laughs> okay. That, that'll help out, too. For sure. And, and that's about the, a $200 tune-up. But that's you'll never after you put them plugs in, you won't touch those again for a hundred thousand miles. And then your oil that oil is going to go in that Toyota before it gets dirty for like six to seven thousand miles before you have to change it again. So you're okay. getting two oil changes for a hundred bucks. Sweet. That's about what it's going to cost for the oil and additive. All right, but yeah, dude, if, if you really like, I'll write you a list. He hit me up on text. And I'll send you pictures mm -hmm. of what to get if you want to really try it out. And it it's a hundred percent you'll be it. sold on it. You'll I'm gonna be do sold it, on it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it for yep. sure. And you know, the the other night uh, I seen you uh, taking uh, some puffs out of the Volkswagen, bro. Yeah, <laughs> it's back there. It was it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude, I loved it because uh, I heard you guys talking VWs and stuff. And uh, that actually, the Volkswagen bus was my first vehicle. Um, I, I had a 73. Yeah? And, uh, yeah, for years, bro, for like 20 years. And that's what I used to drive up to Humboldt with was actually the Volkswagen. And, uh, yeah, I used to pack it up and head up there and do my thing, man, and just yeah, cruise all dude. over all over the place, dude. And, you know, hot box it, and sleep in it, do all types of things in it. Is is? Can you hear that crow out there? Is she too loud? Yeah. Nah, she's not loud, but I can hear her. It's cool. Let me feed her real quick so she'll stop. Cool. She's she's wanting her food, and I didn't feed her yet. Just like her like Sunny, yeah. where's my oh, snacks? Dude. Next thing you know, she'd be pecking at the the window. I'm sorry, she gets loud, dude. If I don't feed her, oh, bro, man, it's all good. I got so many animals around here that I have to take care of. I get, I get it. <laughs> yeah, she stops now. She's okay. I, I hear she just, that. <laughs> she just wanted, <laughs> she just wanted some dog food. Oh, I, just wants yeah. more. <laughs> um, I, yeah. I got a cousin. I got a cousin in Venezuela. And yeah. He actually uh he feeds macaws, bro, from his balcony. He oh like, dude. Yeah, he does How a little cool whistle. Would that be? <laughs> yeah, he does a little whistle and a little call, and they all come flying to him and he feeds them uh like seeds and stuff, and it, it's awesome, dude. And they, they like talk to him, he talks back to them. Oh, that's cool, man. Mm -hmm. I seen a video yesterday. There was some guy sitting on a park bench somewhere. And, and one of the comments was, where the hell is this? You know, like somebody wanted to go see this guy. This guy's sitting on a bench. He's got people around him with cameras recording him. He's sitting there and he's got Tweety birds, those little birds, you know, sparrows. Mm -hmm. They're all over him eating out of his hand. <laughs> There's squirrels coming up. They run up his leg and he gives them food and just bird. He's petting these birds too. Like he's scratching them all. The head. <laughs> and just... There's people like that, like animals just, they know. It's yeah. like they know. They know that person's going to take care of them and not hurt them, mm -hmm. and they'll flock to those people. I, I, I picture, and I've seen some pictures of like, like uh, Sasquatch like that. That's how I picture Sasquatch sometimes, you know, just like all a bunch of animals around him. 
around them and uh you know um another you, thing bro yeah I, I had some i had some some of my own uh breakfast this morning i had some hash myself some hash browns puffing oh, some hash yeah. browns took a few dabs <laughs> yeah that's how i like to start out the day sometimes if i don't got too much to do it's bre <laughs> breakfast of champions that's right eat your wheaties <laughs> <laughs> You ever, you, what, what is it that, um, there's that one strain, there's the Michael Phelps. Yeah. You ever, you ever had that? <laughs> no. Yeah, bro. I don't think I tried it yet. I know it, but I've heard of him. I mean, I know the swimmer guy. Yeah. Hey, have you ever, have you ever heard of the Hurtin' Hippie channel on YouTube? Nah, no, no, no. Man, you got to look him up. This is a okay. guy I stumbled across and me and him became friends and I go watch his show. He does okay. live shows and stuff. Nice. Um, he's got a lot of he's got a lot of subscribers and and he's gonna do our show one of these days. He's gonna come on with us and he'll explain cool. to us the benefits of cannabis and the effects Hell and yeah. the kinds and what you use it for. And we're gonna have him come on either the chop shop or here. But he's a little nervous. He's he's actually shy, and he's got all these fans too. I, I don't want to tell him, you know, like you got way more subscribers than us. But because if you're shy, yeah. you're shy, you know. Tell, tell him, tell him to smoke a bowl. Oh, he smokes. <laughs> That's what he does. He goes on there. You got to check it out. His name's the Hurtin' Hippie on YouTube, guys. Cool. It sounds sounds groovy. <laughs> oh, he is awesome. He is so awesome. If you go watch him, he's. He'll be your friend. Like as soon as you watch him, you're gonna be hooked. You're gonna to want to see a show all the time. He's he's one of the nicest sounding people to watch, you know, and, and to to hear on here. Cool. But yeah, when he told me he was uh, shy, a little bit shy, but he was gonna, he's still gonna do the show. He just we haven't had a uh, time, you know, where our times are matched up yet for him to come on. Mm -hmm. And. It's it, it should be pretty fun. That might be one you want to join in on too. Yeah, definitely, bro. If we can get him on, his uh, name's Gordy. Um, all right. Yo, and, and you know what? Uh, thanks for chilling on my birthday with me. Today's your birthday. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday, man. Yeah, thank you, brother. I didn't know. I'm sorry, yeah. dude. I didn't know. Nah, it's all. I, no, no one knows. I'm gonna smoke it's our, another it's our little today. secret. Uh, <laughs> Just us and the rest of the world now. <laughs> yeah. Made it made it another round. There's only, you know, like right now we only have, there's a couple people on Facebook watching it looks like and a couple 15, 14 oh, people good. on YouTube. And yeah. then as the, after a week goes by, these shows, you know, Chad shows or our shows, they'll sometimes have 400 views. 500 oh, yeah, views. bro. <laughs> there's only 15 people watching. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty amazing. It's actually, uh, yeah, makes you feel good sometimes. It's like, dude, oh, you I, guys, I can't believe. Yeah, you guys are wild, dude. I, I love it. Yeah, we sometimes we get too wild, get kicked off. We're, we're learning, happens. though. It happens. Yeah. And then we thought we did something bad, like we showed something too dirty. And it wasn't even that. It was. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> you never know. It was just somebody doing something stupid is what got us in trouble. Dude, it's raining more. That whole car is going to fall in that sinkhole. I'm not going to go out there and move it. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, no, I heard. I think uh, one of the local freeways uh, is all jammed right now. I think there might have been some sort of slide or maybe a rig turned over with some dirt. I don't know what's going on. Oh, wow. Head. Where you're at and the southern, that's usually those damn those landslides down yeah. here, right? That's crazy, dude. People build their houses on the edge of them cliffs and just, ugh, ugh. Or, or the people in Malibu that build those houses right on the ocean and on those cliffs. And then, oh, dude. That's scary too. Oh yeah, I've never seen a sinkhole before, bro. Like I've never seen anything like this. What's going on out front? Oh, oh you do. You do have a hole out there. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Like it's, it's. I don't even know. How <laughs> oh. I know there's a river that runs underneath us, right here. Okay. okay. I hope it don't fall through to the river. That oh my god, take a mile bro. down. <laughs> That's scary. Well, I don't know how deep that river is. It's, it's hundreds of feet, though. It's, you got to go like 100 feet. 
Yeah, my brother's just been, water out here. <laughs> my brother's been telling me about these uh, like underground tunnels in in LA. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we've seen. Uh, I think you can see some videos on YouTube about them too. Some dudes have gone down there. But um, I guess some of them are around downtown, the entrances and stuff. And uh, we're like kind of in the downtown area sometimes. So we've been trying to check out where these entrances are. Not saying that we're going in there, but just to see where the entrances are. And uh, yeah, it's kind of weird, man. I, it's, I've heard a lot about it. And then I've heard about these lizard people that supposedly live down under yeah. Los Angeles. Yeah. Yeah. Man. I've heard that before, too. <laughs> they, yeah. Yeah, there's this one dude I used to see on Hollywood Boulevard all the time. He's like, uh, I he was like the lizard man. He was like, but tattooed all like scales and stuff. His whole body, he had oh, like bold. The guy with the implants, and he's got those. Yeah, yo, and his face is all scale. Oh, dude, mm -hmm. he looks scary. He looks like a real lizard man. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm like, yep. dude, I, I think I have seen some reptilians before on Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> Man, everybody in here is wishing you a happy birthday. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Lynn Spooky, <laughs> Terry Brown, My Flock. The Loot. Oh. Chad said happy birthday. Yeah, I'm glad to be chilling with everyone, too, man. That's cool. Thanks for the invite. Man, thanks for hanging out with me. Yeah, my brother's at the mechanic getting to his car fix and i'm just getting ready here to head over to the skate shop have you you know about the skate shop mm. my brother my brother just opened a skate shop a few months ago it's a skate shop we have 420 accessories too you, you uh, were telling me about that what's the name of it it's sky's the limit uh smoke shop east sky's la limit. does he have yeah. a, a page or anything um, to, no website yet, but we just you know we just started our little YouTube TikTok. Okay, we have an Instagram, sky's the limit right. dot la, and uh, yeah, we have some clothing in there. My 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 partner, she makes a clothing with African fabric that she brought back from uh, Gambia, and she's making like hoodies and stuff with it, all types of stuff. Uh, reversible bucket hats, um, little hand purses, all types of little uh, you know swag. And what, uh, yeah, what's up? What what uh what you need to do, Brown Dwarf, is like mm -hmm. um, we talked about this before. We had people that wanted to pay us to do commercials, and right. we go walk around their shop like you're doing right now, uh -huh. and you can walk up to all that stuff, man, and tell everyone this is the prices, and and just do a free commercial right here on this, and we'll put that sucker up all the time. We'll cool. cut it out, and you know, and yeah, we can do stuff like that. Yeah, man, sure we can figure that out. Yeah, that'd be cool. And yeah, uh, yeah. yeah so mm -hmm. the, the skateboard stuff's really taking off too. And um, yeah, we know we know some guys in the skateboard scene. I, I was actually uh, working with the pro skater um, Gershon Mosley. He's out of Los Angeles, but we were both working up in uh, hum Humble County together. So we got a link there, and um, yeah, just trying to put it all together. Well, not trying. We're putting it all together. It, it's coming. It's coming together, man. And it's. I grew it's, up uh, with a guy here his name is marco mm -hmm. uh marco mejia and mondo okay. mejia okay mondo mejia moved to la where you're at and he's a skateboarder see if Pro. you can look him up uh okay. he should be but yeah <laughs> yeah i think he gets paid for stuff but i don't think he's yeah. he's not tony hawk pro no okay but he's, but yeah, he's yeah, good yeah. He's really you know there's good. a lot of good guys out there um yep. so armando armando mejia yep mondo right. mejia He's good, dude. Uh, I watch him skate now because he's he's just a couple years younger than me. So I'm 48. Okay. That dude's got to be 44. You know, wow. Skates like he's 14. <laughs> good as hell, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I know Gershon. He's an he's an older dude, and um, but man, he he looks young as hell and moves like he's you know that age as well, man. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I don't need. I I used to skate myself, but I I don't I don't mess around anymore, bro. I can't. I don't. I, I can get on get a skateboard. And, I can get on a skateboard and ride it down the street. I can yeah. go to the store if I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can still bust a little something, and I could bust I my prefer, butt too. But I prefer the old school longboards now, like a surfboard with wheels. That's mm -hmm. little I cruiser. Don't, I don't be jumping off curbs. I don't be trying no. to ollie. <laughs> 
off the steps and grinding yeah. on rails and <laughs> kick flipping this and that. I never, yes. I never rode on a ramp before. I've never rode on a half pipe before. Oh yeah, yeah. I, no, I didn't skateboard that. like that. I just, I use skateboards as a transportation. It was yeah. So I can skate. I just never, never got into it like that. I was a dirt yeah. bike rider. I didn't cool. do tricks on skateboards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now my my first half pipe was down in uh, South Central, and uh, dude, it, it it was difficult, bro. You got to learn how to drop in. To the, mm -hmm. it. And dude, it was just fall after fall. I was like, wow, all right, this isn't easy. I, but I could do it on the bicycle. Nice. And then eat shit once I got up the oh, other yeah. side of that <laughs> ramp because I, I I could only get turned halfway around. I couldn't turn around, so I'd land sideways. And, ugh. Yeah, I, yeah, I knew a, a couple guys that were good on bikes. So, hey, you got dirt bikes too, bro? Or yeah. quads? Right now, my bike's in the shop, but my mechanic just messaged me two days ago and told me I'll be riding by next Monday. It'll be Sweet. done. Sweet. I blew it up. <laughs> yeah, we had we had a side by side, but um, yeah, I wouldn't mind getting a, a a dirt bike just to play around. You know what I what I'm riding now is a TW 200. You'll have to look them up, man. Okay. That is. We even had a buddy come on. Uh, his, his channel's called Dual Dorks. And he rides okay. TW. He rides. He has two of them. He's got a newer one and an older one. Mine's right. an older one. I prefer the older stuff. They they haven't changed. They they came out in 1987. They still make them to this day. This is the exact same thing. They're not fuel injected. They're not nothing. They, they're the exact same thing as 87, except now they put a disc brake in the front, and hmm. you don't have a kick start no more. You just have the electric start. Wow. My older one, the one I ride is a 99. I have an electric start and a kick start. And then okay. I have uh, drum brakes in the front instead of disc brakes. That's the only thing they've changed, though. So you'll have to look them up. And sometimes you can find those things cheap. Right now, they're really expensive because you, you can't even buy them brand new. Everyone's yeah. sold out of them. But if you could find one of those, that's a that's one of the ones that's really reliable. Cool. Like, but and, and fun and it's got big fat tires the back tires like this wide it's like an <laughs> etc tire and then the front okay. tire the front tire is the back tire normally off of a bigger dirt bike so the front tires are real wide too and it's fun and it's short because <laughs> i'm only five seven bro so it's a 200 and i can touch the ground on it cool you have to check it out man Look those up. we'll uh let me see if I can. Uh, what 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 was your last bike? I know I've never had one. Yeah, um, I was gonna say you ride skateboards. You gotta ride dirt bikes. Yeah, dude, I've never had a dirt bike. Um, and when I was really into them, I could only ride a, a peewee. My buddy used to have a little peewee dirt bike, and uh, just messed around a little bit with that, man. But yeah, never been on a bigger bike. Okay, I, I'm gonna show you then what this is. I'll, I'll pull up Dual Dork's page. Okay, cool. We, we can show his stuff. He's our buddy. We won't get in trouble. But yeah, bro, uh, out in the hills, you definitely need like, you know, uh, a quad or a side-by-side -side, something to be able to dip around the property. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. I got to mute this. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> it was a commercial. It got me. Let me share this page real quick. He's, his video is going to start. You can see what it is. It's nothing I, like I usually ride race bikes. Like I just sold my all my Harleys, my R1. Wow. And then I also got rid of my 450R dirt bike. Uh, I'm too hurt to be riding those. <laughs> I keep, My wife don't want me riding them no more. And, and I really know I shouldn't be riding it no more type okay. thing. So I, I went with just... They call this your first. This is your first motorcycle and your last motorcycle. That's what people call the TW200. So when you get wow. it when you first start and then you get it when you're stopping, when you're ending. That's your last bike. Because yeah. wow. you're old and you don't go fast no more. All right, let's see what he's got going here. I'll share the screen. Uh, I think he posted this. He posted this yesterday. So this is a new video. He's also got a KXL. Our KLX 300. Hmm. He's got a few dirt bikes. I 
I had to let that go to let his commercials play all the way through. Oh, my internet's slowing down. I see it. Well, that's his. That's the Kawasaki. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know if my internet's going to work, buddy. Let's see. Yeah, the T Dub. He's on that, so you can't really see it. Yeah, this is his T Dub right here. That's that's the TW two hundred. Okay. I don't know how I don't know how good you're seeing that. I, I see it. All right. Yeah, that's what that is. I don't know if he's gonna show a shot of the damn bike. I want to see the bike, not <laughs> right the woods. I know, <laughs> dude. He has so much fun making these videos. Dude, it looks like it. Look at that. Just I've seen him it. wreck. I've seen. <laughs> he, eats, he eats shit sometimes. Here we'll go to his uh, page. That's that's what they look like. That's what mine looks like right there. Same same colors. What colors? Yeah, do you have? almost the same color. Mine's almost identical to that. His is old though. That's the very first one. I think that's a 1987. That was the first one wow. made. And yeah, he's got. Let me see. He's got a newer one and. You probably, yeah, this is his newer one right here. The green one. Mm -hmm. That's the newer one. And then the older one's the blue one. He put that tank on there. That's a bigger tank. Okay. Whoa. Got some dirty emails coming up. <laughs> uh, is that is that Chad? <laughs> <laughs> it was a girl with boobs. Yeah. But yeah, that's the T-Dub, man. They're these little tiny bikes right here, and they will go anywhere because of those tires. Mm. And yeah, if you haven't had one before, that might be something you want to start out with just so you don't get okay. hurt. This, this shit's cool. dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, it's street yeah. tags. You ride it on the road. And if you have a car driver's license, that's a trick some people don't know. You're, you're not supposed to ride a motorcycle unless you have a motorcycle license. Right. You can go down and get a permit for a motorcycle. You don't even have to take the riding test. You go get your permit for a motorcycle license. It's just a written test. It's very easy. And then you can ride your bike everywhere but the freeway and don't ride at night. But then you're okay. perfectly legal to go wherever you want. And cool. it's no cost 20 bucks to get that license probably. All right. Um, yeah. But like, yeah, man. Like I, like I said, I, I would like it more for something like, yeah, you know, just if, if you're to go maybe – uh camping somewhere or the property like it's, I said. For, mm -hmm. it's for camping that bike's for camping mm -hmm. they make racks for it for the back and sweet yeah, yeah, it, oh, that's, yeah. he he has done actually a I think he did like i want to say 600 miles or 500 miles on that bike and did a Whoa. camping trip took all his camping <laughs> stuff uh, that's a lot that bike only goes like 55 miles an hour True. I mean, wow. it'll go 65 70 but you can't ride it that fast all the time you know but and what, what yeah. state what state did he do that what, what state's he in or right now he's in washington state okay and when he did that camping trip i do believe he was here in california but out towards the desert all right i can't remember exactly where he was but he was in yeah yeah he said he liked it here just he likes washington better and i i don't blame him there's a lot of rules here but, mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of trail rules here too for someone that wants to do riding videos. You can get in a lot okay. of trouble riding in the wrong spots in California. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I just uh, I recently was in uh, Mexico, and on our way back on the highway, there's some dudes on some, um, you know, Can Am, the brand. Yeah. Yeah, they're on some Can Am uh, rigs, dude, and they were ripping alongside. There, it was desert, and they were just ripping alongside the the highway, dude. And I was just like, "Whoa, dude, that looked like fun, man." That that side by side I have right here in the garage. That's my mm -hmm. wife's. That's okay. <laughs> and I was driving it the other day, a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. going to Papa Willie's house, my cousin's house. I live in the All country, right. so mm -hmm. I can just take dirt roads and. Mm -hmm. I was flying down this. They, they picked all the almonds up so I can kind of make dust out here. It's no big deal. So I was driving kind of fast. And I looked down at the speedometer. 50 miles an hour, dude. 50 miles an hour in the dirt. You can't even tell. So they're mm -hmm. fast. They'll, oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. man. No, I've seen I've seen guys, you know, that they'll pull up to the uh country store, you know, and they're in their side by sides or whatever, and it's like, yeah, it's no thing. It was- there was four of them at the gas station the other day when I went and got propane. They were all just mm-hmm. drove these to the gas station. And getting gas. <laughs> they drive by out here all the time. And but believe but me, dude, I, I, I've seen some weird stuff in the city, too. Some dudes uh, driving some weird vehicles. And it's like, what the hell? Sometimes they ride right dirt bikes in the city. And it blows my mind. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I don't know how they get away with that. They, they don't stop. I know that. They just keep going. <laughs> Yeah. So are they fixing the, are they fixing the hole or what's what's the deal with that? You got to call I that in. No, I, I don't know, dude. I think it's just at first I thought it was a squirrel hole, and it got really big, and then it started caving in closer to the car. So I moved the car over, and then I woke up this morning and it's bigger. And I'm waiting for it to stop raining so I can move the fifth wheel. I can't back my truck up on top of that hole to hook up mm-hmm. to the fifth wheel. As soon as I put that fifth wheel on that truck, it's gonna fall through. I know it. Oh is. my god, bro! So I'm stuck. Like I can't do anything. I can't move it. Shit. So it's, it's, it's a serious. It's a serious situation. Yeah, I didn't know. I thought it was a gopher. Or like I said, a squirrel hole. Then when I walked over to where I got to back the truck in to hook the fifth wheel up, yeah, I was standing there and I started jumping up and down, and the crowd was. Going. Mm-mm. My daughter goes, Dad, don't do that. The whole ground is running. So and and, it, and, it, off of there. and it, was, <laughs> it was like doing a wave motion. like Uh-huh. So- it was doing the – so I got the hell off of there, dude, because once this dries up, it'll turn into hard pan. That sand will get really hard, and then I can back up and move the trailer or back the trailer out of there and see what the hell is going on with that sinkhole. Huh. But it, right it, now, I, I'm not messing with it. Did you did you guys feel that earthquake the other day uh, that hit the Bay Area? No. You hear about that one? Maybe. I mean, we. You know how it is for us, dude. We don't even feel them no more. If it's yeah, not, yeah. It's I, I was big. gonna say it was only a five pointer. Yeah. But uh. <laughs> but then it was weird because then uh southern I think L A area right after the day after that got a warning for a major a possible major quake. And uh, I remember everyone kind of just, you know, Maybe. messaging each other and like, hey. I told Chad that that might not be a sinkhole, that that might just be California breaking off and falling into the ocean. So the next few days I might have oceanfront property because it's on that side of my house. It's on the west yeah. side. Cool. Yeah. Well, you know, we've always I, we've always wanted oceanfront property, right? Yeah. Um, do you have a surfboard yet? Oh, uh, I, I don't have surfboards no more. I used to you got it. You got it. You got to get your surfboards, bro. Um, yeah, up in humble, get them back out. Start yeah, surfing again. In, in, yeah, and humble is recommended because it's a uh, like tsunami zone. A lot of areas are tsunami zones, so it's like get your surfboard ready because there's places uh, over by where Spooky's at. Uh huh. You got some badass surf over there, dude. Big oh, yeah. surf will hurt you. Like only the professional guys go out there. Definitely. Yeah, well, yep. but it, uh, towards the coast up your way, uh, it'd be what Mavericks. Mavericks would be Mavericks. <laughs> that's the one I'm talking about. Yeah, that's the dangerous mm-hmm. one. That's uh, what Santa, is... I think Santa Cruz, yeah, county maybe. Yep. I've only surfed at, at Pismo and and Morro Bay. Okay. So just like I've surfed maybe at the tallest when I was a kid, a six foot wave. Not Sweet. nothing. I've never surfed anything big. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, I I've only done a. I got to do a Waikiki. <laughs> I got to learn there. Um, oh which, shit. Yeah, which was cool, you know, the small little waves and stuff. And I, I don't even think you call them waves, but like uh, there are cool little bumps and they just learn learning how to get on the board. It's, and, and It's easier than a damn skateboard. <laughs> well, I, it, it was hard for me, bro, because I, I don't know if uh, you've seen, but I, I have dreads and uh, they're kind of long, bro. Um, and so, heavy? When, <laughs> so when they're wet and yeah, trying to get on the board, it's like, Oh, yeah. Ah. Like, <laughs> balance off. That's crazy. I never thought about that, bro. 
I don't have yeah. no hair. My hair's all shaved off. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, um, my, 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 hair, my hair touches the, the floor, bro. I mean, I'm not wow. that tall, but yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. It's, that, it's been hey. a long time. That's got to be heavy when it's wet. I never thought about that, dude. Just try to surf or something. <laughs> it's funny, dude. Um, I was I was uh, with this dude. He actually owns a skateboard shop in Eureka, California. We we're working together. Just how I met that guy, uh, Gershon, the pro skater. Uh -huh. um, and we're we're working at this spot, and there happened to be a, a big scale. And homeboy is like, dude, hey let's weigh your dreads bro put your hair on there and so he's like you know put my hair on there two it was a little more than like two pounds plus i think and it's probably heavier but it was just like the angle then, i was at but wet i bet that's 20 pounds man Woo, bro <laughs> yeah i never had that problem dude no long hair for me i don't think it's ever been past my shoulders probably that long okay and what about what about beards? I have, I recently kind of just shaved my the sides of my face. If it if it gets too much longer than what it is right now, just like this three or four day beard, it starts itching and it drives me crazy. I just keep mm -hmm. it goatee. And then and then but then you know there's there's uh, you'll get past that itching point. I'd like people who have, you know with dreads are like, dude, how do you do it? It's like, oh, dude, that point passed a long time ago. And have you had them how long? Well, I mean, like, Dude, how long more, have you had dreads? More than 20 years, bro. Never <laughs> cut them. Yeah. That's dedication right there, man. Yep. They're yep. awesome, like, I, though. I mean, I, I like dreads. I, I can't wear dreads, but when I see them, though, and, and like yours, I, I didn't know they were that long. I knew you had dreads, though. Just not, Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not it's, that long. It, it's some maintenance. Can it's you imagine stretching sure. one hair out? To see oh, how long dude, it'd be crazy. It'd be crazy. <laughs> yep. I bet it's two yeah. feet. Yeah, but I got my special little hats or I wrap them up a certain way because, you know, being out out in the field or wherever, you know, or dust and stuff, you know, get they could, you know, they can get dirty sometimes if you don't take care of them. So I, I always keep them wrapped up. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I was going to say if if, uh, if you if they do get dirty and you wash them how mm -hmm. the hell how like yeah no you can wash them you can totally wash them um i like to use it does, doesn't it, oh okay i was gonna say wouldn't it make it even uh like because they're all perfect to me like when i see them but they say if they get wet if you get them wet yeah. they'll, no you yeah. could, they, they could get they could get wet you just gotta dr make sure that you dry them asap oh, okay. um and so yeah you know either sun dry them or 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 get you know some sort of way to dry them blow dry them or something but that'll take a for me it'll take forever i like to air dry them sun dry them but um yeah bro I, and i do the natural i i i don't go to a salon I, you know i just let them do their own thing so uh, keep yeah, it squatchy 20, 20 <laughs> years bro that's a long time i couldn't have hair that long for 20 years it's, it's been a minute man it's, it's been yeah. a minute don't ever cut that off, man. That is fucking <laughs> cool, dude. That you've gone too long now. You got to go forever I, now. I, I might lose my powers like Samson. <laughs> <laughs> That's your mojo, bro. That's your mojo. <laughs> That's awesome. So, how, how young are you today, man? Dude, I hit the four one, bro. Right on. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have guessed that. I thought you were younger. I was gonna guess younger. And you're still skateboarding too? I, I know you're not. Nah, nah. I'm sorry, I can't. I, when, can't I mean, when you I get could. down there, you don't jump on a board and ride it around the shop or nothing. You don't. Nah, get that. The, the, actually, the the kids the uh, yesterday made me do it. They're like, dude, come on. You said, you, and I jumped on and did a little something for them. See? So. still See? got it, man. I still got, still got it. it. That's cool, dude. Mm -hmm. I know my yeah. cousin. My cousin, uh, he uh, does tattoos, and we used to paint cars. He does. He does paint jobs that go into like trucking magazines and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Low rider. Every truck, every truck or car he's ever painted has been the magazine. He's he's really good. It's cool nice. hand Luke. It's cool hand creations. Hey, um, it's badass tattoos. That's where I get all my tattoos from now. He switched from painting to tattoos. Cool. He we I would work at his shop and his house was next to the shop. Well, when you walked from the shop to his house, you had to cross through this backyard that was all cement. 
So his lazy ass would have a skateboard and he would walk down the stairs and jump on the skateboard and ride all the way over to the gate that goes to the shop. And then he'd go <laughs> off to the shop and then we'd go back in the house and, and to, I'd go in there to eat lunch or something with him and he would jump on that skateboard and take off. One day I went in there, not even thinking. I just walked out of the shop, walked through that gate, seen the board, flipped it over, and took off across the yard. And I got halfway across it, all it ass, and I was thinking, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> 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 yeah, you've been on a skateboard in 10 years. If you fall, you're going to die. <laughs> Were, did, yeah, did you have a beer? Did you have a beer or something before that? Or no? I don't oh. drink. <laughs> <laughs> No, just wasn't thinking. Just it, it used to ride a skateboard so much that I just didn't think about it. I could still ride. It was no problem. It was just it was one of those things like you knew better. I knew better yeah. than to be on there. Yeah. Now and, and when I jumped on the skateboard, I was like, dude, how, how loose are your trucks? You know, I, I had to check it out first. I'm like, you know, I'm not just gonna jump on and jump on. I'm gonna test the waters first and and then uh drive the vehicle. I ain't gonna lie, I, I could ride them with loose trucks. I like it okay. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like surfing, it's more like surfing mm -hmm. than yeah. Yeah, you can shred a little more. Yeah. But that's because, like I said, never did tricks. It's when you ride like you guys do, man, you gotta tie your trucks or you're jumping off curbs, you're doing ollies and <laughs> not not anymore, yeah. dude. My brother, no. he he he's he's still got it, dude. He's got it really good. He's still, you know, out there with the young kids and showing them how to how to do stuff. So that's, that's awesome. That's cool, man. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they, like I said, I'm pretty impressed with my buddy Mondo. He <laughs> he blows me away. He puts TikTok videos up all the time, and it's just, I'm just like, right. man, how the hell do you do it still? And you're you're in touch with him. I talk to him sometimes. We haven't spoken because okay. I've been minute. meaning to do yeah for the shop. I'm I'm thinking of uh, maybe putting some out there like an all points of bulletin to uh, skaters or any anyone who does anything. You know, uh, thinking of posting a skateboard <coughs> skateboard vids onto the okay. channel. Yeah, yeah you got, need to hit me up. Hit okay. me up on, in my text and stuff, and send that to me so I can forward it to Mondo. Because if mm -hmm. he's anywhere around where you guys are in L.A., he'll go down there, man. Yeah. He'll go down there. He, if you meet him, you'll see he's, he's what he's a very nice person. He grew up out here cool. in the country with me. He's mm -hmm. yeah, he's very polite. He's really respectful. Cool. He's he's like us. You, you really cool. like him. Really cool, good man. guy. Yeah, bro. And being out here in L.A., we, we know all the like famous skate spots uh, where we could even find other. You know, dude. A lot of times. Um, we'll be driving by and you'll see dudes doing uh skateboard videos and, or you'll run into certain people as well. Oh, there's so-and-so. And so, yeah, we're trying to get it to where we could get, you know, have these guys come through and, and, and uh, do their thing. And, you know, of course have the community come out and, you know, do their thing. So we'll, we'll be having some events going on, man. That's cool, man. Mm -hmm. And then you'll see too, if you guys are always at those places, you've probably met him or seen him <laughs> You yeah, guys have probably oh, crossed paths because that's Who how knows? skaters are. You guys have, yeah, yeah. You know how life how life is sometimes, dude. And especially yeah, and when you're, you're 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 on the right frequencies, you run into the everything falls into place and in, in, in its weird way. I, I feel you know, and, and I love when and things I got like a, that happen. I, I got a feeling he's either going to tell me he's heard of the shop you're talking about or he's been uh -huh. there. You know what I mean? Okay. You know how well, skaters are. If something new opens up, they're going to go see it. Yeah, and if not, yeah, then yeah. he's gonna hear about it. So hopefully, yep. yeah, he'll be able to come through or, or say what's up. Actually, uh, yesterday I was uh, hanging out with a family friend of ours, and come to find out, um, it's it's Be Real's nephew, bro. Oh, right yeah, on. Yeah, you know, Be Real, right? Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, Cypress Hill. Yeah, that yeah, Be yeah, Real's yeah. nephew. Yeah, yeah. So his nephew, yeah, I guess he's a family friend of. Uh, bars and uh, um anyway so he was hanging out at the shop and uh yeah he's been supporting the shop as well and uh yeah cool cat man how about uh the comedian what was his name rodriguez um, paul, his paul rodriguez of, yeah paul rodriguez jr he's yeah, a skater we, he's he got yeah, pretty damn good 
Yeah, they <laughs> call him uh, they call him P Rod. P Rod. Yep, and he skates for Primitive Skateboards, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. And actually, we had his skateboard. We recently uh, sold one of his skateboards. For him? One of his? Uh, no, we had so yeah, we had purchased one of his skateboards, and it yeah. recently it recently sold. Oh, right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice uh, design, and yeah, he's he's really good, dude. And how about but, um, how about the older? Skater guys, do you remember? Of course. Do you remember Christian, like uh, Dogtown? Christian Jose, and, yeah, Steve Slash. Caballero, Not His Cop is, all those. Yeah, definitely, bro. From the 80s? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Back when they started riding in pools? Mm-hmm. What was that blonde guy's yep. name? JJ or? He was uh, Stacy. Stacy, okay. I think that was his name. Had long blonde hair. He looked like a girl. <laughs> Yeah, um, I was back in the seventies. Seventy. I'm yeah. Trying to think of his last name, but uh, Stoos? Is it Stacy Stoos? Oh, you mean Stoos? It wasn't Stussy. I remember Stussy brand, but no, um, it was. But it's not. No, but I, I, I he owns I a skateboard shop though, or owned one in L.A. That that guy did for the longest time. They okay. they they had one. I think it's L.A. But I don't think they do anymore. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, he was the one of the longest lasting guys out of the out of the group. They kept making. Okay. I think they started out making surfboards, then they went skateboards. All right. Yeah, someone just asked me yesterday if we're if we're gonna have any surfboards or anything. I'm like, dude, we don't have money for that yet, but we will get as if once we get the chance, I, we're gonna have that too. <laughs> that would be <laughs> sick. <laughs> have you ever seen him make those before that's a that's a dirty job right there yeah Go. um my my neighbor up in humble county uh used to uh make surfboards yeah and he yeah he lived in hawaii oh, and then i don't know be. ended up up in the hills but yeah he'd, he'd go surfing actually a uh, humble there is surfing there bro it's just the water's cold yeah you need a wetsuit and there is sharks sharks you know? but, yeah yeah but there is here in, in pismo too People don't yeah. realize it. there's a lot of sharks where they're surfing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. They just don't mess with you usually. That lady, they ate her because she <laughs> went swimming out. I don't know what possessed her to put a wetsuit on and get in the water with seals. The seals can swim oh. away from a shark. You can't. Yeah. And that's what happened. My she God. was the slowest seal. She got attacked out by a Pismo Pier. That was 10 years ago, probably. She lived, though? Huh? I don't think so. <laughs> no, okay. Yeah. No, I'm not I mean you hear about that stuff, man. It's it's scary. Yeah, you don't do stuff like that. Mm hmm Although I, I would love it. I, I would love to uh learn how to uh like spearfish and stuff. Like I seen dudes like or catch like abalone. I like I would love to. I, I probably I won't do it and I probably won't do it, but I would maybe, you know. Our buddy, our buddy right. does it here. He owns a store, and he goes like once, at least once a year. He tries to go, but it's usually twice a year, three times a year. He likes to go, and but he lives here in the valley, and he goes somewhere. I don't even know where he goes to, um, but he'll bring back lobsters, dude. That are he's had one like I seen him holding it like this, and it was all the way down past his stomach, like these big huge. <laughs> And he shoots him with that spear gun thing you're talking about. So that would be awesome. <laughs> I I have a kit right here behind me. Have you ever seen the the um, emergency snorkel kits, like a backup tank? But you, nah, no. I can swim with it. it. It's like ten minutes of air, but I I get about eighteen minutes out of it when I fill wow. it all the way up because I I I don't panic underwater. I don't use a lot of air. Um, okay. So you you do dive. Um, I do it by myself. I never, I taught myself and, and I know guys that are, have their licenses to dive that told me how, so I don't go under a certain depth and stuff like that, but I metal okay. detect. So when I metal detect and I find my metal detector only go in the water, like five feet. So it's five feet in the water. And if I found something down there that says gold, I have to hold my breath and go under the water and dig with my hands and this little searcher, it, you got to keep popping up and going back, and it's impossible. 
So you just get one of these and you can go 10, 15, 20. I mean, you can go as deep as you want, but this little guy right here. Nice. This little thing comes out, holds 3,000 PSI of air. It just goes in your mouth. Okay. That's it stays up. there. They don't go nowhere. It stays there. It's floating up into your chest. It's not heavy because it's got so much, it's so compressed with air. Uh huh. Uh, and then, yeah, um, how, how do you refill that? Uh, if you're a manly man, it comes with this bicycle pump right here. Uh, I thought I'd see that. that? <laughs> That's a special bicycle pump, though. It's a 3,000 PSI pump. I can get about 2,000 PSI in here with that. But okay. no, it's easier to use the compressor and just have your buddy fill it up, or my buddy okay. fill it up. Cool. It hit 3,000 PSI, then I got mess with it. Mm -hmm. um, the way I got that is the strangest thing. I, I wanted one, so I looked it up on the internet, right? And I bought it, <laughs> and it never came, never showed up. So, I don't know, like two months later, they said, we're sorry, and it was like the only one they had or some shit. So, there was no sending another one out, and it was like 300 bucks. It wasn't cheap. They're, they're expensive. Yeah, it's not uh -huh. cheap. So they, they, it never showed up and I thought, well, it got stolen. You know, they left it out front or something and somebody took the box and they Damn said, it. no, it got lost in shipping. So uh -huh. that's why it never showed up. So they returned my money. And then, so that was like two months after I bought it, they gave my money back. Like three months later, I came home and there was a box sitting out in front of the house and it was this. <laughs> yeah. So I felt bad and I called them and told them and they said, oh, well, we actually wrote that off. It got lost and UPS paid us for it and we gave you your money back. So it's free for you to keep and Beautiful. sorry that all that happened. And they let me keep it. I didn't have to send it back. <laughs> love that, bro. <laughs> that and was you awesome. See, and you see and how I, like, I didn't yeah, I steal love it or anything. You know, I, I, I told them, you know, hey, this this showed up, guys, and you gave my money back. Yeah, and mm -hmm. they said no that the insurance paid them off and that I could just keep it. Perfect. So I guess UPS yes. found it somewhere and when it got here the box was pretty tore up. You could tell it had been sitting somewhere for a long time, but yeah. But yeah. But the always stars, do the right the stars, thing. The stars were aligned for you, my man. That's cool. Yeah. Hey, because I, I was gonna ask, uh, when did you order that? Because I know uh recently we had lost uh, some stuff and come to find out uh, people have been breaking into the the carts, the train carts here in L.A. Yeah, they do that um, all over. Yeah, bro. They've been breaking into the train carts and it's been it's been nuts, dude. It's just been, and people have been losing packages and stuff. I know, and, right? and it's horrible, too, because it's hard enough to get stuff like motorcycle parts right now from mm, Japan and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then people are doing that. And and I think it, ha it affects the whole thing, not just that what they took. It's the other stuff that's in there too, because now it's, that's got to sit there and get investigated. It's and, a ripple effect, bro. Yeah, yeah, you know, and just the, an example of how something could affect uh, yeah. uh, a lot of things. It's crazy. I I used to work for Santa Fe Railroad. That's what I did. I was a welder. Okay, cool. And we've heard there's lots of stories about people stuff like that. Yeah. Well. I'll just tell you, my, my dad's passed away. He's been passed away for a while. This is way before I worked for the railroad. <laughs> Him and his friends, the trains come by here, just down mm -hmm. the street. It's real slow. They, they got to go real slow through this country. They have to pull into this town called Bowles. When they pull into Bowles, they have to stop, usually at this switch. So, or they slow way down. Have you ever seen when... They're hauling new cars on a train and they have those steel cages on them. But you can see there's cars and there's those little holes through the cages. So you can see through it. I believe so, yeah. If there's cars inside those boxes. You can see them when the train goes by. Yeah. yeah. They didn't used to have those steel cages around them. It was just like car haulers. So him and his buddies would jump on that train at Bowles and start unbolting transmissions. 
and stuff like that and just throwing them off the side of the train as it was trying to <laughs> <on the> tracks. <laughs> and then they would get off. They would get off in Corcoran and then they would drive back down the tracks and get all the brand new parts. These are brand new cars. And they're wow. and they would go get all the brand new parts that they threw off. And and funny get, get, getting off at Cork Corcoran because I know I know what's there too. Yeah. <laughs> That's where you get off though. It's right sure by the that. prison. But yeah, they so it's not just like that's not just rumors. That was actually my dad did that. My my dad used to do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So a lot yeah, of people I, I, steal stuff love, from the tracks. I, I love hearing stories of, of just uh old timers and just or locals or you know, you just hear the wildest stuff sometimes, man. It's like wow. <laughs> I remember even, I asked oh go ahead yeah no, i was gonna say even better if you could have experienced something that'll confirm it too <laughs> yeah now one i did hear when i worked at the railroad was i used to hear this one a lot but never confirmed and i'm a car guy so some track off-road track backed off into this pole barn somewhere out in the middle of nowhere in the desert where there used to be a town you know like a ghost town track that they went up in there and found a whole car full of those old cars, like from the forties. They've never wow. been started. They're, they're not rusted there. Cause it was out in the desert. And I was like, get the hell out of here. You what? Know? Yeah. I never, that, that was one that I heard, but never confirmed or seen anywhere. Mm -hmm. That, how cool would that be, man? Dude. Find, yeah. find like eight brand new, Model A's or whatever. <laughs> you got to jump on Google Maps and, and narrow down the location, man. <laughs> it would be, so cool. be cool to find something like that. So you got yeah. you got anything planned for today besides uh, keeping an eye on that hole? Yep, I ain't going out there. <laughs> <laughs> I just look. I'll stay over here. <laughs> Keep that... Right in keep front of my driveway. Scuba, keep the scuba gear nearby. I know it's not filled up either. I'll be in trouble. Mm. I'll be pumping my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, hey, I filled it up. Really, I, I filled it up with that pump before. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about a workout, dude? Yeah. It, you upper, can't. It don't, upper body. When you're pushing down on it. At around uh, 1500 psi, you have to, whoa, you got to force it down mm -hmm. as hard as you can. Uh, it's not easy. It's it's hard to pump that thing up. I bet. That's good. And then man. the pump That's gets good. so hot, you can't touch it. <laughs> the pump oh, gets so hot okay. at the bottom, you can't touch it. It'll burn the shit out of you. The air is that hmm. compressed going in there. It's weird. That's a trip. Yeah. yeah, no, man, I, I've been uh, exercising quite a bit lately. Really? Which I, I need. Yeah, 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 I need. Bro. You I'm, need I'm it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I, just, I'm, I'm not a big dude. And uh, so I need to get a, a little uh, tone to me, man. Oh, you're trying to, I thought you meant dropping weight. You mean getting muscles. I, yeah. Uh, what do you do for that, dude? You do push-ups? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been doing my push-ups, pull-ups, and stuff. Uh, they got you know, my brother's uh, place. There's yeah, there's a local park here, so they got all the little things you could uh, work out on. So I've just yeah. been trying to stay on that routine, and it's good, man. I, I I enjoy it. You know, before I was just doing stuff around around the farm that would you know give me a workout, but uh, having this little routine, it's it's I like it. I I got into a routine of just push-ups. Okay. That's all I did. And man, I got my arms and chest and shoulder muscles. They got pretty big. Because <laughs> when I first lost all my weight, I used to be really big. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like being that skinny. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to be fat. So I started doing push ups. Just started out doing like 25 Dude. push ups when I get up in the morning mm -hmm. and then like 25. Yep. You know, at lunch and then 25 before I go to bed. Yeah, that ended up to mm -hmm. it was like 150 in the morning, 150 at lunch, and then 150 when I go to bed. It, it didn't take nice. long either. 
you, you get mm -hmm. even now I, I don't do them no more because it'll hurt my back real bad that's i can't okay. do that stuff no more but right now i can still get on the ground and do 100 push-ups like no problem it's nice. like after you build that muscle mass it doesn't go away nice it, it kind of stays with you and I, I imagine you have like your your weights and stuff too in your man cave no weights no just push-ups that's all i did Ooh. No, no weights. I can't. I can't lift weights or anything anymore. My back. I'm. I'm. I'm 100 disabled. Okay. Really. I, I'm. I don't usually tell people that, but yeah. That's mm -hmm. now you guys. Know. That's why I can't work. I. I worked at the railroad, and my back is destroyed. I. I crushed. Um, three, three of my discs are crushed, and they can't fix them with surgery, because mm -hmm. it's a 50 50 chance that they're going to paralyze me. That's the only reason I, I can't have surgery. No one will do it. Okay. I've tried. Yeah. Yeah, man. I used to work for uh, a well-known health food store and at their warehouse here in LA for years, bro. And uh, it was it was produce, and so we're picking orders for for the stores, and so it was mm -hmm. a lot of lifting, bro. It was and you know fast pace, you know building pallets of of whatever and and lifting potatoes and onions and. It was crazy, bro. We're working in the cold as well, you know. It's just like it was gnarly, and yeah, there's a couple times where my back, you know, it was almost like a scary moment. Back, yeah, dude. Once, uh, you yeah, no, you gotta be careful. Yep, that's what happened. I wasn't careful. They they put me with some guy. the The way the railroad works is. Um, if you're a, a trackman and you come and help me as a welder one day, you can get your welder's rights. Even though you're not qualified as a welder, you still have welder's rights. That means okay. you could bid a welder's job and go do that work. You're just not a certified welder. So when you sh when, when it goes to shoot the weld time, I have to do that and then sign my name to it. You can't do that. So that's what this guy did. He went and he was an assistant for one day and he never learned how to weld. And they put him on my truck while we were in Corcoran, actually. <laughs> I mm. wanted to leave him there. Um, I got so mad at this guy. Uh, my truck is up on the rails as I high rail out to where I'm going to weld. That means I have to go to an intersection and get the truck off the tracks. And I only have like 40 minutes of track time. That means a train's going to come through there in 40 minutes. <laughs> He's going to kill us if we don't get off the tracks. <laughs> you know, it's one of those. It's, it's a time. It's real time sensitive. And they put this guy on my truck and he knew absolutely nothing about welding, which that's okay. Just load the truck for me because I was, I'm good at it. And I, I can, I can shoot those welds fast by myself, but I need someone there to help bring me the tools. That's all I needed. I kept telling him to put the tools in the truck and I swear, dude, I would tell him, okay, I'm done with this. Now grab this stuff and throw it in the truck. He would come up with every tool. Dude, he walk up to me with a shovel and go, but where does it go? Uh -huh. Where does it go in the truck? I told him and finally about after the third time I was screaming at him, take that fucking shit and throw it in the truck. We're going to get killed. We're going to get up this fucking truck. <laughs> you know? So I'm screaming at him and I have this big crane. <coughs> There's a big gr hydraulic grinder. I set on the track and I rock it back and forth to grind this weld smooth so the train can go over it. And it's a really big grinder. <laughs> it's a big wheel I turn up here to to lower the grinder wheel. So I use a crane to grab this grinder and lift it up. And then I set it in a certain spot in the truck and then put my crane back. And that's how you load that. But it takes me about 10 minutes to do that. <laughs> so I'm yelling at this guy to throw the stuff in the truck still. And I got pissed off and I grabbed that grinder and my truck's way up on the tracks because it's I'm on the high rail. So the bed's not sitting here. Now it's sitting here. It's, it's way up there. I grabbed that grinder and it weighs like a hundred and something pounds. I just flung it up in the truck. <laughs> the cords at all. Dude, I just flung it in there. I'm screaming at him. Get the fuck in the truck. I'm screaming. Oh my God. So I fling that thing up in there and it hurt me. You know, it, it hurt my back. I was like, ow, you know, that fucking hurt. Oh, so now I'm even madder at him and I got to ride back with this guy and I'm going to kill him. And I get the train, I get the truck off the track, train goes by, it was no, you know, we barely made it type thing, but we go back to the yard, that was on a Monday, and I went to work, just kept going to work, hurt, and like on Thursday, that Thursday, I didn't even make it till Friday, I collapsed, 
in the yard and it's nighttime and there's no one there to see it. So <laughs> I crawled back. I collapsed. I was carrying a, the, they call them bootay kits. It's a butt weld kit from France. So it's bootay. And I was carrying like four of those things and they're heavy. And I was getting, I, as soon as I got to the bumper of the truck, man, I was, I just felt my legs going like, what the hell? Like I was sinking. <laughs> It just fell, dude. I just fell out. Like I had no control over my legs anymore. I just fell out on the ground. I was pissed off because I dropped the kits and you can't break those. They're made out of sand. And so I'm, I oh, get man. up. I, I have to help myself up on the bumper, you know, and then I'm sitting there for a minute and I can't walk. Like it hurts real bad, dude. I can't I have no power. I couldn't walk. So then I start. I bent over to pick up the first kit. And when I did. I seen a cab light come on in one of the trucks that was out in the yard. The goddamn supervisor was sitting out there the whole time. <laughs> he, he, he watched me collapse. So I couldn't uh, tell him I couldn't tell him I wasn't hurt. He watched the whole thing go down. He was like, You fucking idiot. You're just gonna grab those boxes and keep working. I was like, fuck. <laughs> so that's what happened. I hurt myself real bad. And I, I didn't know I I had tore the, the discs when I flung that thing in there. And then I kept working and I crushed them. So I have three <clears> torn, <throat> crushed, deteriorating discs in my back. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, that's back. Oof. So no more working out for me. But if you can do it, dude, you do it. Because it, <laughs> it, it, yeah, I yeah. can show you pictures of me. I was 304 pounds, bro. And wow. yeah, it, you don't, it was hard to do. When and I, I think I was in my 30s. So the longer you wait, the harder it is. Mm -hmm. Well, dude, you, you look good. I'm okay now. Yeah. I, <laughs> but yeah, I can't work out no more. I, I still, I the way I keep my 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 traps and my my arms stay kind of big. I still ride motorcycles. Okay. That, All that's right. That's a workout. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I got big forearms and. Yeah, but mm -hmm. it's from riding motorcycles. I don't work out no more. Gotcha. So that's the secret then. So that I do need to get me a bike. <laughs> yeah, yeah you get, your forearms will get big. You'll get big old forearms. From All riding right. Motorcycles. You get big old. You, Pop yeah, by. Uh, yeah, it gives you an arm pump when you first start riding. <laughs> like your arms hurt so bad, you'll have to pull over because you can't hang on to the motorcycle no more. And it just happens. It, it, it's just something that happens. It goes away after a few months. And All right. It stops burning. Okay. Yo, so my battery's low here. I'm. I'm a All right, man. Yeah, I was gonna say we're rolling yeah. up on three hours, and I'm I'm tired. Yeah, you get some rest, bro. Keep an eye on that hole. Stay safe. And uh, no, dude. Happy happens? birthday, man. What are you gonna do? I, I'm gonna go hang at the shop. I think the family's gonna come through, and they're, I'm most likely gonna bring some food there and uh, just do a little. All right. Chopping well, up. Remember. One of these days when you guys are doing something, or even if it's just one of these days when it's not busy in there, let's mm -hmm. get on here and shoot a video, man. Let's make a commercial for them. Let's make, you know, let's walk around and show all the boards, you know, and tell them what the specials are going to be for that week or whatever. Definitely. And then we'll talk to Chad and we'll run a commercial or something. Cool. Let's see man. if we can do Sounds it. Good. Sounds good, bro. I appreciate yep. it. Uh, take care, Sonny. Hey, happy birthday, man. Thank you for hanging out. Thanks for stopping Cheers. in, dude. That was awesome. Peace. Cheers, buddy. Hey, guys. How awesome was that? We had Brown Dwarf for an hour. I am wore out. I can't sit down, guys. My back's still messed up. <laughs> so I've been standing the whole time. <sighs> I hope you guys had fun. We weren't even going to have a show today, but we did. I'm sorry I wasn't paying attention to chat. Um, there's still 13 of you guys in here. It's because you guys love Brown Dwarf, and it's his birthday. Man, wish I was rich. I'll fly over to where he's at right now. We'll have a party. <laughs> hmm. Well, guys, this was fun. I'm glad you all hung out with me. Love you too, my flock. Love all y'all. Thanks for watching, guys, and I think I'm going to end it. I wonder what Chad's got to end this with. I bet he's got something cool in here. Oh, he does have an outro. It's not a cool one, though. Oh, wait. Yeah, it is. It's a good one. All right, guys. We're going to end the show.
Thank you for hanging out with me. It was fun today. I had a good time chad and spooky thank you guys for getting up and coming on with me that was that made it a lot better we love our rc cars guys one of these days we're going to have an rc car show i messaged someone called rc girl yesterday that chad told me about and said he wants to get her on the show he's going to learn some stuff she looks like she knows what she's doing her rc cars are pretty nice as soon as she responds i'll get it set up hopefully she says yes and I don't know what we got coming up on the chop shop. This Friday is Veterans Day, and I do believe I'm going to have my cousin Donnie in here in the studio. I told him it was bring a veteran to work day, so he had to come in and do the show. I think he's going to come. Uh, so that's what we'll be doing on the chop shop. And Thursday, no more smut stuff because we got trouble. We showed someone set their ass on fire when they took us down. Um, so no more smut stuff, guys. We got too much trouble, but maybe we'll still have a morning show. I'll talk to Chad and Spooky and see what's going on. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. It sound right, boys.